Monday, 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 Monday morning. It is Collider Live, and I am Christian Harloff, and I'm here with the crew, and it's a nice crew. It's a relaxed crew, starting with the one and the only purple hair, Phoenix herself, Roxy Stryer. Well, I like the purple hey-o, hair. Hey-o. Thanks, man. You just decided you were going to purple it up? It was in my drawer last night. Oh, and your hair? Yeah, my hair. Okay. And so I put on that wig. No, it was like a little tube. Mm. Uh, Brett's daughter had the same tube. That wasn't a weird joke. She really did. That, like okay. a lot of people just keep it in their drawer. So I found it and was like, mm, yep. Do, I don't know. Do I, do I say his name or do I just say the boyfriend? How does the boyfriend uh, deal with the purple? Ben? Yeah. Uh, I call him Limbo. Okay. So you could call him Limbo. Oh, how does Limbo do, do with the? Uh, does he like the purple? Uh, yeah, he, he likes he it. Um, it. He's not here though. He's not here in, in the studio. No, no, no. Oh. That's definitely true. That's true. Uh, yeah, right. He's not in town. Oh, he's not in town. Oh, so, I thought so you meant so emotionally to, not. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is in Limbo, <laughs> right. but he's not in town either. All right. Well, two people who are definitely in Limbo is Mr. <laughs> Brett Sheridan. Welcome back to the show, sir. Keep uh, scooting closer to Mark. Please so do. Get out of the, Please do. Yeah. You guys are freaking frank over there. We had, yeah. our, we had told many stories of California Pizza Kitchen. Yesterday. I was going to say. Uh, yes. yeah, yeah, we had some nice happy birthday, by the way. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, yeah. Hello, that Mark was Ryan. what we did. Hello. How are Very, you? Nice to see you. Very good to be here. Very fun day yesterday. Yeah. You, what's uh-huh. wrong? You got umbrance? Well, I just, honestly, here's yes. what happened. I walked into the office today, uh-huh. and Chris and I were talking about, like, all the Schmodown thing that we talk about. Mm-hmm. It takes me a minute always when you approach me to Schmodown and stuff, by the sports. way. Well, because I was, like, thinking how great the Patriots did this weekend, how happy I was, and you came and you were yeah. like... Well, the Giants yeah. are one and three. I'm not going to bring up yeah. football. So, uh, yeah, you came and you're talking to me about it. And we're talking for, like, 15 minutes before somebody walks by and was like, yo, happy birthday, Christian. So, number one, I'm an asshole because I don't know. And, like, you should say that at the top of conversation. Uh... <laughs> hold on, I'm dancing on my birthday song. Hold on. Oh, sense. little Thor Ragnarok? Yeah, okay. hold on. Wait, we're dancing. I'm moving my hands to the left. Moving to the right. Left. Right. That's my birthday nah. song. Birthday, birthday, nah. birthday, nah. birthday. Fuck all nah. birthday. Right. Nah. Somebody sense. give that, please. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. So, <laughs> so the fact that I didn't know I'm the dickhead, you should like have a hat or something. Um, I hate, I, it's stupid for people to walk then, in and say, guess what, guys? Today's my birthday. No, but so, I, right? uh, like you should though, because yeah, otherwise, it, like, yeah, it doesn't look good. Um, and then this song is we get rad. in here, and I was trying to protect Brett right. because we're all sitting around the table, yeah. and I saw Brett didn't say anything to you, so I said to Brett, "Do you know it's Christian's birthday?" Oh, yeah. and he and Riley <laughs> nah, said, enough, and Riley said, "I know because we were at his birthday party yesterday." Yeah. Right. And also, Which I've known I, him for 20 years. So then years, I definitely so. would have known had I been at the birthday at the, party. So wait a minute. So there's, there's a thing about this. Um, so I, I've been to some of your birthday parties. Yeah, right. Exactly. This wasn't really a birthday party. Yeah. And that was the thing. There, listen, listen to How me. many people? 13. Okay. Birthday party. No, because a lot of that has kids involved. Christian, were you invited yeah. to my birthday party this year? No. Yes. I was? Yes. I don't go you didn't even respond. I, I went to your birthday party. I sent you a straight up text message. No response. That's not true. Yes. Then I'm a dick. Oh, yeah. Then that's a shitty thing. I that apologize. That is shitty. That's because I didn't get a Riley chance. Riley did there. come. He's did great. Come. Okay. He's very, and I came to Riley's. Yeah. 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 So, Roxy well, and I are friends. Friendship. Yeah. This is yeah. Ten, yeah. Straight yeah. up. Listen yeah. to me. This is Straight up friends. Years. Riley, 10 years ago, did I go to every birthday party? Yes, you did. I went to everything. Yeah. Oh, I don't care that yeah. you didn't come, yeah. but I you, didn't, say, no, you didn't no, say anything. Then you didn't invite me to yours, so friendship. First of all, listen. As far as the As far as the inviting the party thing goes, this is not. there were a couple kids there. This was there's tons of people that were not invited to this office. Rose Raise your hand if you're in this room and you were invited. Not not these people. Well, the, I've, known, <laughs> you know, I've this, known these two idiots for 20 speak. years. And <laughs> b- by the way, this and this is something my wife's going to be listening <clears> to this because my wife, when we were going through, well, who should I just send? My wife sent the emails, and I was like, you know, listen, just send it to whoever. She sent the initial emails. I'm, I wasn't even involved in this thing. Yeah. And I knew it. I knew there was going to be somebody like, oh, how come Roca did wasn't? I didn't have Roca there. I didn't. Mark fucking Fernandez didn't go. Uh, Makuga was on anniversary. These are people. I knew for 20 years. If I could have had a. None of the three of them were invited? No, they were Makuga invited. was. Makuga yeah. was. Okay. But, so uh, you can't count on your list. He, he can't count on my list. No, that's true. And you name, you name most people you think would be there from this office. There were Perry, who I, I, I'm very close with, that didn't wasn't invited. Nobody was invited. There should be like a second tier of invites where it's like, I don't, don't come, but 
You, this is don't the invitation. Come. Hey, listen, I want to let you know that <laughs> I would like you to be there, but don't be there. But don't be there. It, it could be the Because like, I, want, well, I that, only want my 13 boys there. But, no. So you're invited, but don't show up. But couldn't that essentially, couldn't I just do that now? Like, listen, here's the thing. I would have loved to have you and, and Ludacris. What's it? Limbo. What, limbo. You, you know, like, <laughs> like we're in limbo. Yeah, you. I get it. You and it is well, ludicrous, let's do ludicrous. Though, yeah. So either one, it works. So I would say, I would say, I would like to have you and Ludacris there. I would also like to have Ludacris partner in crime there. Um, yeah. I would like to have. I would like to have the whole damn Schmodown crew there. Was my, that your place? Yeah, it's my courtyard. And I was like, it was like, you know, we just barbecued a couple things, and it was like, it was there were kids running around and playing like. And I live thirty seconds from you, so it would have been really hard to get there too. <laughs> just to be clear. So Roxy, you will I be? Come. Come on. Will I be invited to your birthday party this year? Uh, are you going to make it on the show till the summer? Uh, <laughs> whoa. He'll make, wow. it, he'll make it farther than all you fuckers. So like, yeah. If you do, then definitely. Like, okay. if I keep seeing you, yeah. I like you more and more every time we wow. get closer and closer. See? That's true. Yeah, we had. Well, that's, that was, a it, that's really what it what it was. We were all hanging out. Um, my my wife. So how right was it? So, because another thing is, it was for also for my one year old. Because her birthday is like three days before mine. So it was really. It, let's be honest. It was her birthday party more than it was mine. She was. They, they did pictures of her eating cake. The, and, the, when she ate that cake, that man. Was it. Were that there face. other one year olds? Well, there were my my daughter had a majority. Like Brett's kids were there, and like my wife's friend's kids were there, and and that, that was it. It was a, it was a kid's birthday. If party. I had kids, you would have invited me. Yes. One hundred percent. Yeah, you need a kid. I gotta next get year. on that. Yeah. So get get L- Lumbo Lumbo to to, to, to deal mm-hmm. with it. But I also the other reason I wanted to sh- there were two reasons why I wanted these people to come because I wanted them to see what I was talking about with these fucking squirrels. And <laughs> finally saw the squirrel. And, and I should have brought you my saw drone. saw the squirrel there was yeah. A, yeah, see, because the thing was, at first I, 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 over, I, I, pointed, I pointed it out to them when I got there. I said, this is the war zone, right? Yeah. I said, this is the war zone. This is where they show up. And I go, sure as shit. The little pricks, they came in and they were like, sh- they, like, Brett's wife was the only one like, why? They're beautiful. I'm like, they are devils. And then my neighbors, who I told now, now they're starting to get in on it because first the neighbors were like, what do you, you know, they saw me like throwing like You the, invited the neighbors over? No, the neighbors just live next door. I did invite them to come by for a burger. Mm-hmm. So they don't have kids. Are they, they part of the 13 or? It doesn't count. They're, they're cool. guilty by association. Wondering. They're just walking by and I, I, one of my neighbors walks by. I say, hey, you want a burger? Yeah, give me one. I didn't show up for it four hours later. It's like the flies at the fucking burger now. Um, but we we were looking at the we were looking at the squirrels are finding things. Brett's wife was trying to protect the squirrels. Now the neighbors are f- shooting pellets at, at the squirrels because the squirrels are eating up their grass. It's a war zone over there, right? Um, Legitimately, they're shoot. What is that like a uh, airsoft? Yeah, but it's not. It's one. It just pelts them in the ass. They jump and they run away. It doesn't like hurt. It doesn't really. Well, it hurts them. It just doesn't kill them. What if your kid was out there? My kid doesn't play in their backyard. It's, a, it's their backyard. <laughs> if it did, then we'd have issues. Why my, why's my kid playing in your backyard? Uh, what, I'm going to shoot them if they are? No. With a pellet gun? I don't know what you would do. You, you got purple hair. That's true. Um, Living on the edge. Yeah. Just to give you an idea what kind of rager you miss, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, there's a group of us sitting around, everybody's sipping on LaCroix, and, yeah, like, we literally and Christian's telling he's like, yeah, my buddy Vic from back home, they're, they're fed fucking squirrels! <laughs> it really, yeah. it's really what it came. No, to. no beer. No, I told. I was talking. I was tell, telling we a story a about beer. Yeah. yeah, I was telling a story about my my. Mark had half a beer and left it on the table. Yeah, that I was... did. I did. I was because I, I was a little hungover yeah. from that before. I was like, I think you. Bite like, the dog's a bit. Yeah. Nope, yeah. that's not going to work for yeah. today. No, and it, but it was funny because Ken and Ellis and Riley, all three of them, got turned on Lacroix because Ken was like, up. Oh, this is the flavor. This is this, this is it. Which this one? is the one for Ken, me. Ken loves apric- this is the, one uh, the apricot, um, and Riley loves the cherry lemon. So yep. cherry lemon sounds good. Apricot is like one of the most disgusting flavors of anything I've oh, ever heard. Well, of. Ken loves it now, so take it, take it up with him. I love Ken. I don't love that. Ken told me he's finally going to be on the on Clyde Alive. We'll see. Really? Yeah. Yes, yeah. He told me. What was up with all that? I feel like he he he's should have been here. Time. At this point. Well, a couple. There's a couple different things. One is that he didn't. Uh, he's working on some stuff. I don't know if he's talked about it yet. I don't so think he's so, working yeah. on some stuff. Yeah. Um, and then and on Mondays he's not really available. And he comes in on Thursdays normally into when yeah. we do Jedi Council live. Um, and he's around for the showdown. But we're gonna try to get him on live. He knows that everybody's been asking for it and he's he has, has nothing to do with him like I don't want to be on live. He's, no, you know. I, I knew the answer. I was just being the voice of the people there. Oh. Well, there you go. So thank I, you for because I just that. figured like twelve starter, yeah. different text messages that I was going to get, and all so the brave. different like people. Yeah, I am so brave. Yeah, uh, so brave. all the different people on yeah. Twitter. I'm gonna have a party just for you. Oh, okay? and we'll have a. You know, Beardo brought it up to me. Something I wanted to do, and we should probably just put this into motion. Um, you know, so the guys did a top ten. Did the top ten live show yeah. over the weekend, Roka and Nost, and okay. they sold that. It was like fifty people, and I was thinking, what really? If, yeah. 
That's cool. Where That's did you cool. have anything to do with it? No, I wasn't. Did that, you go? No. <laughs> I don't go to anything. Good. I do good. nothing on the weekends. Supportive. I like, I, it's not a matter of supportive. You don't understand. Like, I have two jobs. There is Christian that you see here, and then there is family Christian that you never see, unless I have a barbecue that you that, that my wife that my to. wife sends the in, invite. And I'm proud to. of you. You're full dad yesterday. Full yeah. dad mode. Manning the grill. Yeah. Carrying a child yeah. and looking at Viv and going, put that down. No, 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 put that Which down. Which is every 10 seconds. She's so funny. She's she a, pulls the water out, and yeah. I just, and me and Ken look at her and go, uh oh, yeah. there we go. She's a hurricane, <laughs> my daughter. But she did, but it's so she God, picks up and so she much. sees me. She goes, I go, no. And she's like, she's like, <laughs> And we're all and watching her do it. it. Yeah, she's we're all watching it. her doing it. And then she just shoots at the flowers, and I'm like, "All right, the flowers yeah. need food now. Get now, put the freaking thing down." Um, was she climbing up the walls after he left? Because the last thing I saw Viv do was take a spoonful of sprinkles out of the little. They had like a caramel she apple station, and goes like this and looks at me. And she goes, she did it seven. <laughs> he said she already had done it like four times. Seven times. <laughs> then you guys all left. We turned back. We got rid of everything. And I don't know where it was. And all I know, she's got sprinkles <laughs> falling out of her mouth as she's smiling. And I'm like, this kid, she felt like she, I mean, she crashed. She, it's, it's incredible. Like she just, she moves at a thousand miles an hour. But anyway, um, I don't know where we we're going with what this. What kind yeah, of karate master do you want ten. me to be? What? Oh. The top ten show. Right? Okay, and then so, I have eighty other questions fine. for you. So oh. top ten, top ten show. They do it live. They did it at this at the Cinema Lounge, right? And I want. I've been talking to Cinema Lounge about doing something over there with them. And I think because we do full screen does our Schmodown shows, so we're going to do more of those. And we're looking into doing some in in different parts of the country next uh, next season. I'm coming. I would love that. Um, but Little sister. Can I come? What about this, though? What if we did at the Cinema Lounge, if we can figure it out? Because Beardo had reached out to me about doing it here, but I think I want to do it at the Cinema Lounge. What, what is Cinema Lounge? Uh, Where it's, is it's, that? It's in Hollywood. And it's a, what if we do a karaoke contest? And we do, we'll do like 100 people, the 100-seat theater, right? Have the, have the crew come out. We'll do three judges, and we'll, do, we'll actually do a karaoke contest. Mm. Do we, are we judging or are we performing? I think a mixture of both. I think we get some celebrity guests to be the the hosts. I mean, to be the judges. We do one full on host, like you know, a, a Ryan Seacrest, or whatever. And then we do a Collider Live battle. Yeah, let's just get Ryan. What do I, I win song. in this? Yeah. Guy, I have my song, song ready to go. Now, I, me too. Yeah, I got my I know song exactly ready. No, no, no. You wouldn't exactly. just do, you wouldn't just do one song. It would be like you'd have to each, Good. each round. Every time you got eliminated, I got you'd have to do another one. No, I've got I got them all. I've got mine. And then there'd be one. But if you got farther enough, then then there's a judges song that you have to do. I'll take. How do you know that was mine? I'll take the Pepsi challenge on that with the song choice. I want to do that. Yeah. What's the Pepsi challenge? You've, you haven't heard of that. You well, know the Pepsi well, challenge. Well, explain I, it. The Pepsi challenge is like with that old commercial. I'm old. Yeah. That yeah. What's old the commercial Pepsi where you're, they're drinking soda and they don't know which is which and they're like, ooh, that one's good. And it's like, it's Pepsi. And they're like, oh, I didn't know. I thought it was good. The Pepsi yeah. challenge. But, yeah. but how are you taking the Pepsi challenge on? I'm going to prove that, I, like that my soda is better than yours. You. Right. Oh. That's all it is. It's, well, it's just bad marketing. Well. Um, yeah. All right, what's, your, what's your 80 questions that you have? Um, do you, of, no. of the girl, of the guys that were at the thing, do yeah. you have any girlfriends? Do I have any girlfriends? Um, like, are that you? That my wife knows about. I'm kidding. Um, there, yes. Good uh, joke. Dad joke. <laughs> so, um, thank you. Well, Bonnie Somerville, she, which she, she we was knew she invited? She, yeah, we knew she was going to flake. She didn't make it. Um, did she just flake? Or no, she, she got sick. Yeah. Um, so, first one to the reply all. She didn't reply. So you don't like her, you don't like the reply I hate all. Reply all. Yeah, so I do too. Oh, I don't do the reply oh, all. Oh, it was a whole email thread. I didn't do it. It wasn't mm-hmm. my. I did not send the email. He wasn't even on the email. The baby did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the baby sent it, which is yeah. probably true. Um, but mm-hmm. no, I don't really have. I mean, minus coworkers. You okay. know, yeah. Was Perry invited? No, she was not. Ooh, That's what I'm saying. There was, a, was Wendy invited? No. Ooh. So I'm saying, don't diss. It was, no, it was not a gas. This was not a party. This was a gas. So Bonnie is your only female friend who was invited. It wasn't invited. mine. Sadie, Sadie and her are like it, really it good friends. It was your party. But what I'm saying oh, is, she's Sadie's friend. Sa- yeah, she's I gotta get Sadie. in with Sadie. Yeah, that's the goal. Which, which now you can because at first you know Sadie didn't know who the Roxy was, and then mm. as she's watching, she's like, I like the Roxy. Sadie has my email. I know she does. She does. She's emailed me before. It's true. For, for your fortieth. Oh. Well, all right, well, there you go. Sadie, email me, girl. Yeah. Well, let's, let's, anyway. do, let's do lunch. Um, well, that's that's I'm a lot of stuff alive. we covered to, in a, in what in fifteen minutes. And Look at that. That's the so, show. And yeah, and that's the show. And and I will tell you that people who are definitely commenting about this uh, this this. 
thing that we're going to be talking about a little later, the, the, the headline of the show today. Ooh, man. Are we, are we going to be in for it? Yeah, yeah. so, I am I can't wait. so oh. excited to hear your guys' thoughts because I really don't know. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Well, yeah. That's going to happen. That'll happen at 11. So tune back in. I know. We'll talk about your, I was teasing I'm it. Telling these humps. I'm getting them excited. I know. They should get excited. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also, the other thing I wanted to bring up, too, is and this is something I just wanted to address because it happened in a Facebook group over the weekend. Hmm. So... You know, we, we released the Harloff and Ellis um, Schmodown match, and it was it went off really. Great match. It was a lot of fun. We and we we posted it, and we it was exclusive for for patrons, right? And the reason why we did it because each match this is what people and I think a lot of times you want to be as Jay Williams from Afterthought says hashtag transparency, right? You want to you want to let people know that um, this is everything that's going on because you can't just assume people know. Each match that we tape, each match for the Schmodown costs. Mark and myself money out of our pocket, right? Mm-hmm. That we have to pay. Like the Collider does not pay for the Schmodown. We pay for it. Um, to where, again, if you look at Collider, whether they have a dot com or advertisements or podcast advertisements, there's ways to pay for everything that they have. We do not have that. We simply have the Patreon. So when what we were charged, what we figured we would do just for this is every match that you get on Tuesday and Friday free. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to. Be a part of the Patreon. You don't have to, and you just you can watch every match on Tuesday and Friday. So what we said we were going to do just for the patrons is that we were going to make the me versus Ellis match exclusive for for Patreon. And what we would do because we can't we not everybody a can afford ten dollars, and then we'd say look after two after two weeks this thing will be available to everyone. So you even at the lowest tier of one dollar you get this thing. So everyone on Patreon, not Patreon, everyone, right? Okay. Two weeks later. So here was the thing that happened over the weekend. So someone then writes to me. Well, I have to. I have to. I want to really want to watch this match, and I have to pay a dollar for it. I don't want to. I'm like, well, that's that's up to you. But I said, here's a question because someone I saw a comment that I, that I saw and it just stuck with me. And I said to the person who asked me and that was complaining, not anyone else, just this person who was complaining and those complaining. I said, let me ask you a question. So if you're paying eighty five dollars a month for your phone bill, right? If your phone bill was eighty six dollars, would you cancel it? Because that's what we're asking for this match. Because not, and then some. Some woman was offended. She's like, I'm offended that you would say that, because I don't have this dollar to do this, this, and that. And I go, but you didn't ask me the question about about wanting it and and being privileged to have it. You, to, mm-hmm. That that woman was she. She was the one who watches Tuesday and Friday with her kids, and that's the way she takes the the content in. And to me, that's totally fair. It shouldn't be looked upon that I was shaming people that they had to put the dollar in. I was telling that particular person that that's how it is. And then the person, the, the woman's husband writes to Ellis on the Instagram like, Christian's taking this out of control. He's taking out of control. He's shaming them. Like, no one's shaming anyone. What I'm telling you is that dollar, if you want it, if you, there are some people who don't even, if you don't, I would much rather someone say to me, look, I don't want to pay for a trivia show. I don't want to pay for what you're doing. I just don't choose to do that. I choose to, that to me is more fair than saying, if you're complaining about it, I can't, I'm not doing that dollar, that's too much for me. If you're complaining about it, if you're not, you're not. There's this wave of entitlement for content because so much content has been brought for free that makes me like legitimately feel gross that I live in this world because you spend, like it's your whole life, Christian. Anybody who works with you knows it's all you think about. It's all, like you spend so much time on Schmodown. It's your whole world. You've created this entire thing it's a it's a beast of its own and so it has to get paid for right. that's yeah. just the truth and, I think and if the, people don't want that yeah. that's fine but you can't just expect it for free and say i want it free i want it now i want it on my terms and i am entitled to that well yeah that's what my my thing is again i think that it what you said is very fair i think that people are used to it's like forget mark and i ellis and i started Schmoes, just two guys in front of a Rocky poster talking about movies. And that's, you know, essentially you tune into YouTube, that's free content. And Schmodown started on YouTube and it started and it lives on YouTube. And so people just think it's a YouTube show, but what they don't realize is how much money goes into it that we're paying for. And like mm-hmm. so, it's like again, where if we're just charging that dollar for two weeks later for that thing, that's what it's going to be. I don't think. If you don't want to pay for it, you don't have to pay for it. No, of course not. And I'm not shaming anybody to do it. What I'm just saying is those people who are complaining to me, that's all I'm asking. I was asking a question, but everyone gets offended about every fucking thing now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I was just like, I mean, you should have seen that. I just got rid of the post. And the one guy's like, well, he deleted his post. Yeah, because I'm fucking done with it. I was trying to let people know that this is just kind of the, if you're complaining about want, seeing the match, if you want to see the match, it's available to you. Pay a dollar, you can see it. If you don't give a fuck about it, 
Don't watch it. And, I'm on and, a Patreon with Christian where I pay him five bucks a month to not talk about Shimoda. So. <laughs> and, it never, and it never works. It doesn't work. It never man. works. You gotta, you're, you're, you're it's a, shit, it's a shit investment. Yeah. Yeah. Shit investment. But anyway, so that was... That, I went through, I went through, yeah, I went through that. Yeah, that's a dumb thing to complain yeah. about. Yeah, I but saw anyway, that. so if you want to watch the match, it's available on Patreon. www.patreon.com slash Shmodown. There's your plug. So All when's right. the dollar version available? Um, In a week? Well, the ma- no, two no, weeks. The match went up on... Um, uh, Saturday. So it's so two weeks a from week and Saturday. A half. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a fun match. That's so, awesome. All right. Now the other thing. What time is it now? It, it, it is game at, time. Ten twenty. No, no, it's not game time. Oh. Game time is at the end of the at the end of the show. Oh, I I was just doing oh. my Pepsi challenge thing. Like oh. it, it was a reference. Oh, it's a good reference. Like not specifically time for the game. Way to go, oh. Roxy. Roxy, you've had to explain everything you've commented on to but How many of the <laughs> things have you understood <laughs> off the bat? Like, Brett gets I was me. teasing the thing. You know? yeah. right. I was explaining. The Pepsi challenge, just let it go. Yeah. I can't let it go. I finished Maisel. Let it go. Oh. Ah. Hey, oh. It's good. I like it a lot. Really good, right? It's really good. Be- yeah. Better than good. I think it's really good. Really good. Um, Sadie enjoyed watching it. And she said, yeah, she liked. So you liked it more than Sadie did. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I and I think maybe it's a stand up part of it too. But like, I, re, I mean, I'm not going to ruin it for anybody who hasn't seen it. But I loved the season finale. Yeah, I thought it was great. Really I'm looking good. forward to that. Did you watch the show yet, really? No, you I should. I know. I, I hear it's Jay. It's we, really good. We we finally got through Ozark and and then American Vandal. I need to watch that. Uh, yeah. That's the so next I one. told you I'd go at your pace, but now I'm on episode three. So oh, I'm what, trying, Yeah, I'm trying to still My go pace. at your pace. Yeah, remember I told you that. Wait, no, what episode three of what? <laughs> of Vandal. <laughs> I, You're on the show. I have Alzheimer's. <laughs> Should I explain it, Brett? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's break it down. Yeah. A few episodes ago, <laughs> yeah. I said I will go on pace with you for American Vandal really? because you're slow, oh. and so I said I'll watch alongside you. Oh, but, okay. Is it season one or season yeah, two? Yes, season one. Because he had never seen it. Here's two things. But about now that I've statement. watched three episodes. There's two things about that statement. One is that I believe everything you said. Yeah. Thank two you. is I remember none of it. <laughs> Christian believes women. Yeah. You, you haven't started. Okay. You haven't started <laughs> American Vandal. I have not. Yeah, I have not. Because my friend Pat. Who was at the uh, at the the event yesterday? Uh, uh, the event. Ooh. Yeah. So Pat Pat show, Pat shows up and he he asked me about um, American Vandal. It's the first thing I, I guess I gotta watch this American Vandal. Yeah. I gotta check this thing out. So why don't I go at your pace? But now I mean, you, you already are. To, no, I'll stop watching until you go. Listen to me. Oh, it won't be fun. You're probably it's too hyped up at this point. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 Do you like I'm it? I'm guessing. No, I loved it when All I saw right. it, but it was like early on and I didn't. You know, the, the new one, I'm not quite getting into yet. Okay. I mean, because I think the, the first, the first one, was one is so perfect. Yeah, the first one is so great. Right. Yeah, the second one, though, is so great as well, but Season in a two, different way. A little bit better. You, you think, think it's a little bit better? better. Cops minus, are the hot take. Minus the uh, the main character from the first season, that kind of douchey jock guy that was the main See, focus. See, I miss that guy. Yeah, but I think whereas with that season, you get that one character. Season two, you get a bunch of smaller characters. Uh, yes. Uh, quick plug, uh, Collider uh-huh. Podcast. I did a review with that with Makuga and that. Check it out. There it is. Oh, cool. Take. Yeah, yeah. That jockey guy needs to have his version of Friday Night Lights. Yeah. Like, I would follow him as a little jock boy. That mm-hmm. reminds me. Of, can you play that sound clip again? The one, one you just played. Uh, Here's a ah. dong take. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, Did they so play perfect. that? No, 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 no. The after they just played that that the clip was underneath. Uh, Where was I? You were here. You're just talking. Mm-hmm. Um, but I listened to. Are you after, all right, Roxy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Afterthoughts came back this uh, this this weekend, and it was a really great show, the guys. And it's so funny. Like they, they were they were bitching about the way we use dong take, right? I actually agree with them because we do use it wrong. Um, I haven't, but um, but. There's because what dong take is is like when you say something completely ridiculous and stupid. That yeah, it's is, a dong take. Right, like so, but there's, but we've been we've been misusing it. Um, like if you look at like so when when the whole garbage people thing, dong take. Yeah. Right. Liking bad boys, two or hoping there was a third one is not a dong take. It's just your take on that particular thing. So we we've we've abused it. And they they were they were there's two things that they were right about. They're right about that. They're wrong about the fact they still think they discovered LaCroix. F F you in the Take end. Take that dong and <laughs> shove it in your mouth. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Roxy. Yeah, so you're welcome. That's my thought. Do, are am I on uh, what kind Speaker of terms phone? am I oh. yeah. Hmm, what kind of terms am I on with the the after thoughts? Thoughts? They like you. We're on okay terms now. Yeah, you should do the show. I you should call it. You, should, you should. You need to listen to the show. Oh, okay, I should do. You that. should. It's on. It's every Saturday. <laughs> I never heard. It's it. on the. It's on actually. What the hell is it? No, it's every Friday. Excuse me. It's every Friday on the Collider uh, Movie Talk podcast feed. The guys are back. They um they had a great show, this week and um yeah I, I love what they do and I think that most pe- more people so Frank Frank uh, Lucatardo is now doing is kind of their liaison, 
on their on their show. Good Frank stepping up with that, I love it. I, I, what does I, that even mean? He just, I don't, he, you know what? I think that it was. <laughs> Why aren't you understanding my English? Today, no, no, Roxy? I understand. No, I mean, it was more a question for him, yeah. even though I looked at you. What does it mean that he's a liaison? Yeah, for the show, oh, was he it. always? <laughs> no, no. I thought you were like my he, slang. I'm like, he's like I, an, too no, old I, now. I got yours. He's okay. like an uber fan of the show. He loves it anyway. Um, so they, when, huh. the biggest thing that we had when we had a little bit of our disconnect was that the guys didn't really have a, a, someone to be able to talk to as far as what was happening, um, who they could talk to, who they could voice complaints so to. So Frank was not previously. No, they didn't have anybody. They were just kind of like run, you know, just hoping that you know they'd get a response or something too. Now they got Frank that can help them out. So um, a follow up question, yeah. not to do with this, but talking about not understanding hip things. Um, yeah. So for FTW's for the win. What is T- Fuck the world? I thought it was. Oh. I thought it was for the win. I don't know. Oh. What is t- what win. is TFW? Oh, That's the one I see everywhere TFW. now. TFW. TFW. The fuck with when. What? That feeling when. That, oh, that feeling, feeling when. when. Oh. What is t- what is it? T B H. To be honest. honest. To be honest. Fuck! I hate millennials. Yeah, I can't do it. I, I'm just like, why not just type it out? I think you're the Wikipedia version of a millennial. Me? Yeah. <laughs> is, is that good or bad? Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. I, I think like I think it's cool to hate my own. What generation are the good parts? Sometimes. No, no, no. I, uh, good. Uh, I think. I don't know. I was just trying to be okay, diplomatic. What are the bad parts? <laughs> um, I don't want to get into another fight with cops. Okay. We're, 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 okay. we're we're on good no, terms. No, but I, I don't cops know. I, I heard that. I'm like, oh, mm, that sounds kind of cool, actually. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think sometimes, sometimes the millennials like they they. I think they're ambitious. I think mm. that they're creative. I think that divorce is going down because of us. Maybe hey, so, oh. but I also think they're very entitled. Oh, that's good. I, think, yeah. I, think, I think millennials are the most entitled generation I've ever seen. Well, uh, I think uh, to Copster, be... that is not what that article said, and I don't understand why that's the headline what? now. It, what? It's not that divorce is going down because of us. Oh, divorce don't... is going down because of Gen X. Well, Roxy, don't take it literal. I was like, you know, it's, it's, it's he's, a, he's, he's talking about why. why you know, he's, it he's... was a big story that just came out. Yeah, though. So tell and, us. and everybody, everybody's saying millennials are bringing down the divorce rate. You're Gen... a millennial, by the way. I know, okay. Gen. <laughs> Just making sure. What? <laughs> Finish your point. Gen get those X is tracking. bringing down the divorce rate. That's that, us. It, it, that's yes. gen, it's Gen X. It yeah. has nothing Wait, to I'm do gen with X. us. Are well, you divorced? They, no. Am I divorced? No. Well, there you go. So you guys are doing a great fast, job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Sorry, everyone, thank you. Well, you'll be, you'll I left be you one out of for it. one. You're going to even out yeah. the playing field. I am, I am even at your one, your mother in law oh, yesterday yeah. with that. What she do was hysterical. You don't. Oh, can I? Can I? I will say. I, can I, I say the ex, ex's first name? I won't say her last name. Uh, no? uh, you might want to. I'll say. I'll say. Why I'll say. Call her, well, why Samantha. Samantha. Samantha's great. Right. Yeah. So we heard. Is that her actual name? No. No. We hear Samantha's having a baby. So and Samantha is your ex wife. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> my, 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 my mother-in-law. I don't believe Samantha will be a good mother. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm just sitting there, and she's like, "Oh, did you see?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I saw. It's fine." Yeah, wow. I'm, like, I'm engaged. We've moved on. It's all good. Yeah. Is that a reach out moment or no? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not. Nah. I'm not. Friend. She she reaches I actually, out. Yeah, I will say. I, 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 I'll say. I think Samantha would be a good mother. But my my mother-in-law just says yeah. things sometimes. Um, she will. Yeah, she will. I think so too. Yeah. But um, but it was funny because I doubt it. <laughs> you don't even know her. Yeah, but I just doubt it. You just doubt it. <laughs> I get the sense. You get the sense. Don't know a thing about her. No. Well, why not? I heard uh, some stories, well, and they it, haven't been particularly well, favorable. Well, and I'll tell you what. Yeah. And she's responsible for part of the divorce rate with uh, with yeah. Gen X. She took away our snack. That's true. Yeah, that's son true. Of a bitch. So we're pissed at that. Oh, um, so but anyway, yeah, I think the, after you're a millennial, you know. Yeah, you entitled millennial. You. Yeah, you fucks. Yeah. <laughs> we're taking over this fucking world. <laughs> yeah, that's my point. God, TBA. Yeah. Anyway, so all right, let's let's move I on. I don't even know if that's right. SMH. I'm sure the the, the Monday uh, chat room is pleasant. How are they doing? <laughs> Actually, not are bad. They, really? Not bad. What are they I've been monitoring. Um, okay. I got a hashtag Team Riley. Thank you nice. for that. Uh, happy birthday. Lots of happy birthdays. Cool. Laughing my ass off. Uh, um, you know, everybody was wondering. You know, I had what? one guy what? like, when are they going to talk about the thing? It's like you know. Hashtag yeah. that's the show. That's Can I the tell show. you though? Yeah. Uh, honest to goodness, like not trying to toot, toot the horns mm-hmm. of the chat. Um, that's not how that expression is used. Not, not yeah, trying to fuck you guys is. up. To your okay. own horn. Wait, so yeah. what does that mean? Uh, She's just, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you, I, you know, I'm at like 50 different outlets. I'm like all over the place all the time. <laughs> yeah. uh, a really, lot of these guys really, do talk about you tooting their horn. That's when they really, got to block those it, ones. Uh, it's really not impressive. I pay yeah. my own health insurance. Oh. Um, so Perfect. I will say that the Collider chat 
is by far and away the nicest of all oh, of nice. the fans elsewhere. Okay. Like by far and away. To collide as, alive. Especially, especially, and not to just whatever, because I'm sure now yeah. people are going to mean, especially to women. Well, I will tell you this. Collider Live, what I've found is that oh. the, thank you. Yeah. Thank the Collider you. Live audience now that gets the show and knows what the show is, the hardcore people that keep coming back. When I was doing the, when we did the live event yeah, on September 8th, I was kind of really, so many people kept coming up to me and telling me how much they loved Collider Live and how much like, Collider Live was the show that they were really kind of tuning into. And we were starting to get our our audience, right? And I think that the same people come in every day to, to either whether watch it or listen to it. They know and they get it. You're going to get the ball bags that just see the title of the show and they go, well, well, wait a minute, wait, wait, they talk about this. Uh, fast forward, what a one point two. And it's like those people, you know, they can just get pelted in the head with bagels and no one needs to see them ever again um or Good let my point. neighbor or let my neighbor that's a waste of bagels let my neighbor pelt them in the ass with the with the with the pellet gun whatever he's got first you throw them on their lawn yeah um but anyway so what are they saying in there oh uh uh Did you I fall asleep uh no, bread is no, great uh, he's the so, best no, i don't know just, i'll tell you later uh oh, it's right. fine I kind of oh, no, just went down I, a little rabbit hole, was, so oh, checking some. Did pot. I speak too uh, soon? No, 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 no. A lot, a lot of Yo Rileys and okay. uh, Team Riley and Roxy, so Team Roxy, so, so brave. brave, so nothing. So brave. Not saying anything. All right. You know what we should do though, Christian? Birthdays, because I got a lot of that at the event too. But <laughs> the one thing I will say is that some people can't don't watch two hours three days in a row. Right. So I wonder if we should have Brett do like a rap recap at the top of the show can for like rap? thirty seconds. Yeah, I know he can. I've heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you all. Right, no, like more, no more chat right kind of, yeah, no more chat. Some kind of Brett right. recap. And even when he's not here, he's got to like Oh, I've got. Oh, so I have to yeah. actually watch. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you missed the whole show last week. Yeah. What the was, hell happened to you? I was working like a month. A lot of guests. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of guests. Yeah. Sesame Street or no? No. Yeah, I wish. That's, yeah, that's, I, I was know. off doing other th- creative things. Like, Oh, I can't wait for it. That's yeah, the art show, right? 14 hour art yeah. show. Yeah. Changeovers. Where can people come see you at the art show? I don't want to. I like to keep that. Is my uh, yeah? I don't want people showing up at my job. It, it's <laughs> really that one that we did go to was really yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. it's right. fun. Yeah. I mean, I even I even yeah. asked them yeah. to keep me off like the website of oh. like you know like because I just I, I I mean I've been trying to be an actor for yeah. twenty years and I want when people search me not to be where I work. I but see. What, Are you good you know, at what acting? I I, he, I mean he, nobody's yeah. ever told me yeah. not it's to not, do it. It's not fair. It's not fair <laughs> him to answer it. I will I will answer the question is yes. Yeah, I, I have a feeling. He's he was the, and he and I would say to him he wasn't in the room when he was part of Acme Comedy. He was criminally underused. He was the best part of every single sketch that was on there. He is uh, he is one of the most talented actors, com- comedic actors. It's a shame that he hasn't uh, that someone hasn't found him because he is. That's why I wanted to bring him back because and people you see it. When when he does when whatever bit he does whether even if he, he doesn't even realize he's being chased out of the room he's one of the, the most <laughs> talented people um, and we found a gem with Schmoes and we found a gem with Clyde Alive and that's a nice last nice thing I'll ever say. <laughs> I know, but you, yeah. Well, that was a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So sorry, it's I only didn't. yeah. It's, so welcome. Do you ever back. like make your own films and stuff? Uh, we did, and they didn't get seen by anybody. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of you know. It, it was... Uh, you have a confidence problem. Yeah. That's your biggest thing. Yeah. Really? Conf- yeah, he's got a confidence problem. And but you've got, like, like, a hot wife and kids and... and yeah, yeah. Oh, not that type of confidence. Uh, confidence... Uh, he, when he... You know, yesterday, we said, would you want to do stand-up? He'll do it, and he'll crush. But then he won't he won't stick at it. Like, I guarantee you, when we do our Collider Live, the comedy like confidence thing, sounds like a work ethic. <laughs> It is is scared Uh, because because he'll he'll freak out. He'll freak out about doing the actual bit. Then he'll go up and he'll annihilate in for like the ten minutes that he's on. I guarantee it. And then he'll like, I'm gonna get back and do it, and he won't do it. Yeah. What is that? Well, the tough uh, with stand up. The tough thing is that's a nighttime. I mean, I am to sleep by ten, ten thirty at night. You know, I get up at six thirty, get the kids off to school, and then I have to pick them up. I mean, my my wife works full time, so I'm, my lifestyle right now is not that of a twenty three year old. Right. You know, so I do have to pay the bills. If I had something, is there a Patreon where you guys just pay me money just to live? Because um, <laughs> I'll take that one. But no, that's the, I mean, I'm at stuck. the one dollar tier, I'll make eggs for my yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For five dollars, uh, I'll put them to bed and read the story. Yeah. At ten, yeah. Yeah. At ten dollars, I'll put them to sleep and watch a movie. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, where were you last week? I I have to. I work. didn't say that. I have to work to pay the bills. Like I'm not in a position where like any little bit that I don't go to my job, it, it affects my income because we're at. I don't make what is your wife insane do? money, but I do I do 
good enough to just pay the bills right. month to month, which mm. is a wonderful place to be in. <laughs> um, paycheck to paycheck. My wife works for. Uh, 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 I don't. Nah, I don't know what people so know. I would. I would say she works. But she works I for mean, a restaurant. Company. She's like. Yeah. A, she's like executive assistant to a, a restaurant. Big fan of the restaurant, by the yeah. way. Cool. Big yeah. fan. Me Love too. It. So Me his wife, yeah, it's funny so his, his wife, what did your wife, do? your wife was walking out last night and because my, my, my wife and, and Brett's wife get along and at the, because she's like super, super nice, but at the very, I can't remember what it was, but she's like, you don't want to piss off Brett's wife. No. <laughs> really? No, no. She's got, she's one, it's like, she's super sweet. One she's of the got nicest. an edge though? Yeah. It's just like, you don't want to get on her bad side. Like What gets on her bad side? He knows better than I do. Yeah. It sounds like you found out yesterday. No, 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 no. Just oh, through God. conversation, you could just tell you don't. I've known his wife for just as long as I've known Me him. Me too, yeah. Yeah, because um, yeah. we all started working yeah, you, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, you I knew like two years before. before. Yeah. But but anyway, so um, but that's it. Let's. Uh, I, I want to move on, though, because we have a lot. Let's not talk about my wife I don't want to talk about you anymore. It gets scary. I tried to get her on the <laughs> no, show. I tried no. to get her on the show. I said, She's you do? very nice, but she, she keeps me in line, and I appreciate it. Like, I, well, yeah. I'm not complaining that my wife is like, but like, she'll let me know, like, listen, you need to do this, because I, you know, I have depression and things like that. She's like, get your ass up. You got to do this and get out there, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I'd, I'd be lost. She's your motivator. Her. Yeah. Yeah, she is. And they, it's really like, sweet. they're like the perfect team. Really? I saw the perfect, like, yeah. It was funny because, you know, Brett will throw these jokes at her, but he knows that, like, you can, we were laughing about it last night. We said they should be a team because it's like, he'll throw a joke at her. She cracks up at it, right? Still, and 20 it's not years. That good? Ago. It is good. No, oh, okay. the joke's good. But, like, but the thing is, when you're watching, if, I was thinking about it yesterday. Like he could throw a joke at her that he, his wife is stunning, right? And but he'll throw a joke at how she's like ugly, and like and she and she crack. Yeah, she laughs like that at it. But we're all looking. Like, oh, she laughed. We're okay. Laugh yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and that should be like the 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 comedy bit. Like I think the first thing he said at my at my roast when he or, or my birthday party where he was up there and he goes uh he's like yeah my wife she's not a looker but she can cook right and like and, and the joke is that she's so that, damn pretty yeah. that brought yeah. the house down it did that, yeah that, yeah that and, she, and she was the first one to start yeah. cracking up she led the last one <laughs> <laughs> is she a terrible is she a terrible cook she's not i i wouldn't say that the blue apron has saved her in that department because then Arby she's like little like ramekins out and she mm. kind of makes a little too much mess because she turns into like she's on a chef show mm -hmm. but like she just doesn't have that she's a she's a baker she, oh, okay. she likes measurements and whatever she doesn't like the you know i can take anything what i call stone soup growing up was like end of the was week you would yeah but you just throw it you go what's in the fridge right. okay we got hamburger we got this i'm gonna make a goulash or right. i'm gonna make you know like so i know how to throw together food right with leftovers and things she doesn't have that kind of skill a, i kind of think yeah. it's gonna happen for him what's that for brett What's going to happen? I just think it's going to yeah, happen. I hope him. so. Yeah. In I my so. Rodney Dangerfield. I would like that. Sure. Look, if it's any indication, it if it's Never any indication, the I'm Collider audience like that it. didn't know you loves you. Yes. Yeah, I knew that that would happen. Yes. All right, let's let's move on here. Even though you hide from them at the live event, um, <laughs> let's uh, let's get to movie news because there's yep. stuff that we need to talk about. Talk Lots about. of movie news. Lots of stuff going yeah. down. And no, the main topic is going to be at eleven. So yeah, we'll touch on that there. Get your ass together. Yep. All right, let's. I don't know what that means. Let's get let's get to the like next. Squeeze let's get to the real first tight. One. Is that like Kegels for your butt? I, you know what? I, I will talk about that Kegel thing. I heard something weird about it at the break. All right, go okay. ahead. Uh, <laughs> so Dark Phoenix releases a trailer February fourteenth, two thousand nineteen. It's going to come out next day. Yeah, gets moved to June. What's going on with that movie? Uh -huh. I heard so our own Frosty <laughs> Weintraub comes out and says, "Oh, they had they needed more time." To do the, the effects, yeah, and that's why he came out and said that based on his own I don't know. belief. I don't know. He might. He knows people. He so, knows stuff. So I trust Frosty, yeah. but I know. I, as he I says just that wonder, loud all of the time. I've been at this for a very long time. There it is. Yeah. That's the laugh. Wow. I just wonder why do you release a trailer and the next day you go, yeah. oh, by the way. Well, because I think the reason why that you do that because it was supposed to come out in February, right? Yeah, February fourteenth. And, and now you push it to it's. It's not getting put. If it got pushed to September it, yeah. or January, See, then I, I'd say, uh oh. Yeah. But they're pushing it to June, which June is a 7th. summer release. Yeah. yeah, like only a couple. Like that's why people are freaking out. Like, oh, it's got to be bad. They're pushing it. They're pushing it to the summer season. I think it's a mistake to push it to the summer season. I think if anything, you move it to like October or November yeah, or something. Yeah, because even people didn't like the reactions I saw. They didn't like the trailer. That no, much. I didn't mind oh, the trailer. I thought people I, loved the trailer. See, I didn't I, like I, it that I, much, but I saw like I liked this it. trailer is amazing. Although it was kind of confusing. Like people like Jay Washington posted. I, now I don't understand what gifs are or gifs are. Yeah. But he posted like what I think about Dark Phoenix, and then it was a person like punching a bunch. And 
I oh, was yeah, like, the boys in, in the hood a good gift. way. Oh, so he loved or in a ba- I couldn't tell. No, no, no. In, no, that, he, in that gift, because it's from Boys in the Hood, and it's at a certain Cuba point with Cuba Gooding Jr. So, that, so that's bad? Yeah. Yes, it's bad. All right, so wow. he didn't like really? it. Really? I feel like, well, like... Yeah, yeah. don't get me you know, started on The gifts. context of the... God, people talk with words, motherfuckers. I, <laughs> see, I'm going to go the other way. I, I love I, them. I love communicating with those. Me too. To me, it's... Are you a gift guy or a gif guy? Gif. And, 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 thank you, Sim. No, no, not not no, necessarily. Not today. But what I will tell you is that so even it, it to me is more satisfying. Some guy wrote like, like because it's during, when you have this podcast, like it's on on Apple Podcasts or Podcast One or whatever, um, ads play like in the middle of it or something too, right? And hence that's how Claire makes. Yeah. Like what kind of things show. are we playing these days? I know, there's a lot of different ads that we have. We have a lot of different sponsors for the podcast feed. So some guy writes. You know, I just I can't deal with the ad. So I put a gif of a fast forward. Yeah. yeah. Fast forward through it. Yeah, yeah. And 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 then he was like, Well, that's it. Well Party that's break. my gif. Unsubscribe and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. It's like you know, and I just I just did a, I did a gif of a person of Harry Potter in the train waving. <laughs> oh, we're sorry, we're making money to yeah, live. But, but my point is, I I would much rather Barely. to me communicate in with gifts than. But to that me. seems. But your process of finding those, like I tried to do it a couple times, and I'm like, and then I got to go to the Giphy side or something. It takes two like, seconds. It's a little I thing don't know on if the bottom. Says Giphy. I, I, I want more. He did. I want more gifts of myself. Jiffy pop. Is that is that self? You have some. I have one. I, I don't know. Schmodan is probably a bunch. No, there's uh, there's one. One gif of myself, and oh. it, it's a screen junkies gif, oh. and that's it. And it's me singing, getting jiggy with it. There's no oh. gifs of me. Oh, this right, one. Pull it up. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I see. That's nice. not 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 not. The na, blonde na. hair. I don't yeah. have blonde hair. What? I'm blonde right now. Not like this second. That's purple. purple. But right, like yesterday, I was, was blonde. Wasn't brown. Mine. I don't. Is, no. I don't remember. You don't know what color hair you're I have. Brunette. Listen, don't be I'm, offended. Three days a week, you're with me. Yeah. Oh. Hit it. All right. Uh, uh, word. Uh, 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 yeah. See. Turn my headphones up. Hashtag so white. Um, so when we, I noticed, uh, I, I said this to my wife, This is, and I always tell this story when everyone says, wait a minute, I have blonde hair. I, this, I just probably happened two years ago. I woke up, I said, oh, honey, how long is, uh, how long is that, I, said, I like that poster, or that, that picture, how long has that been hanging up? She's like, three years. <laughs> so I, I noticed nothing. I think I'm blonde nice work, a Sherlock. lot of times. Yeah. I'm like, some, I think I'm going to go red soon. Cool. Mm-hmm. So Dark Phoenix. Um, yeah, that, yeah. Was a, the, that was a good. Oh, oh yeah, that but no, good, I, th- uh, I think that the conversation. Mo- there. I think that the movie. I think the movie itself. Um, I'm curious what Simon Kimberg is going to do. Um, I think that it pretty much just looks like they're rebooting the the th- the third X Men they did the, to get Roxy out of there. Will do you? you think that the trailer had anything to do with? Them moving back the date or nothing, and it was just crappy timing. I think that they're probably putting. They need. I think they, I think they just need a little crappy bit timing. more time. And you know, Fox doesn't probably have anything. There's probably open dates still for the summer season. They wanted to take a shot to see. Oh, it's an excellent movie in summer. I I think they probably wanted the summer release in general. June though. I don't know, man. Like, what? What's bring up the release date so far? What we have? Uh, not you, Riley. Don't worry about it. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, the you. guys will bring it up. So I want to see what the release schedule is. For let's just do summer. Let's just do, bring up. Yeah, give me give me May though. Give me May because I want to see. Give me May. I got to I got to re up on my story. Right, right there, the Secret Life of Pets two. Yeah. Opening the Avengers center. four so, May third. Yeah, okay, so Avengers four start. Uh, that that's May. That's gonna take up the anybody going up against that thing. And what comes out the following week? Uh, Detective Pikachu. Nobody no, see that. No movie. one's gonna, gonna suck. Everyone's gonna John no. Wick two. Totally John Wick two May seventeenth. That Wick is 3. a mistake. John Wick three. That is a mistake. For John Wick or for? For John Wick, it's like uh, it bring put that out in like March or April, man. Minecraft. Movie? The Minecraft. Oh, the, Aladdin's the following. Aladdin, Aladdin. And then Godzilla. Oh! oh! So that's a mistake, man. I think Aladdin, between Avengers still kicking ass, uh, Aladdin, Godzilla. Godzilla, those three movies are going to destroy X-Men and take a lot out of uh, that opening weekend. Because then what comes out after that? Dark so, Phoenix is the fall is the next week after Godzilla. No, no, no. June 14th, those Men in Black. Who cares? I and do. then Toy Story. Toy Story. Once Toy Story uh, 4 comes out, see you later. It's over. Yeah. It's over. So that was this is a, that is a terrible, terrible release date. Awful. Mm-hmm. Fire yeah. her. Yeah, that's, no, that's, she's, she doesn't run that studio. Okay. Capture. They're gonna have they're Stop gonna run millennial. into a solo problem. Yeah. I think it's too much. Like the the trailer is yeah. not reacting well. No, and Spider Man comes out on July fifth. What Lion is King. Oh, what's over. in February where it was? Ooh, let's good, check it out. Yeah, Ooh. Good summer so far. Yeah, what oh, was it? February good, what? Good question, Rod. Uh, Jacob's, Jacob's, Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> Jacob's Ladder is coming. Is no, they're doing a remake the, of no, Jacob's Ladder. No, fuck off. Yeah, they're remaking. No, really. Uh, what oh men my, want? Is that like what women want? 
Yes, that's yes, the that's the, the, the Taraji P Henson one. Yes, yeah. the, well, the opposite. The Lego oh, Movie. Part I see two. what they did. Right, they flipped it. So when, that's what that was the week. What week was it supposed to come out? <laughs> February, what, like 19th? It was February 14th. 14th. It was February 14th. Valentine's. Valentine's. Future is female. So it was supposed to go, Battle Angel, it would have beaten. Mm-hmm. Isn't it romantic? Okay, happy, uh, it beats all of those. The all right, but what week, I will how to say is, dragon it's not really a Valentine's Day movie, though. But still, it's still, how to train, how to train your dragon is a different audience. I think that, that is, they just took away a lot of money out of their pocket. February was a much they better did. release date. They did. Yeah, yes. they're trying to bury it. But if you're not ready, you're not ready. It's already been delayed twice That's before. That's true. That's true, but uh, I don't know. I don't, what does the audience think? I'm trying, I'm curious. Uh, what, should it, should think, it have Riley. stayed in February, or should it have uh, should it have gone to June? I mean, the, the, you're absolutely right that they might not just maybe feasibly not been able to stay. Yeah, but uh, but that Captain, doesn't mean you need to Captain go to June. Marvel in, get the in hell March. out of get the, uh, dude. Get the hell out of there. Like stay in February. Good night, X Men. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are are agreeing. Yeah, and then it's it's. You know, of course, now leading to the what happens with Disney, they're going to reboot X Men. I think it's solo, though, man. I think it's solo, like to where you put that in May. Solo came out, what, two weeks after Avengers, Avengers did, right? That was the same company. And a week after Deadpool. And it got its balls kicked in mm-hmm. because there's just not a lot, of, there wasn't a lot of excitement for it. And well, it, that's not just because to. of where it was. I think no, it's because no, of that, what it was also. No, no, no. That, and it was a mixture of both. Yeah, mixture. Because you got to remember, though, because the. Star Wars, and we'll talk about it a little in a little bit here. But Star Wars took that flag in December, planted that motherfucker, yeah. and said, "No one's ever done a hundred million. Boom, we're doing two hundred. We'll do it twice or whatever they made it, over a hundred million twice, three times, three times they made over a hundred million in December, and no other movie had ever done that. And then they go, and then Lucasfilm wanted wanted December again, and Disney's like, "Nope, put it out in May. Yeah. Let's go back to May." Iger, Dumb. Iger apologized for that. Said or not apologized, but, but he realized took credit. He Dumb. Went, Bad move. Yeah. Okay, well, good. I mean that's why he's Bob Iger because he can admit mistakes. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that's that's that movie. What's next? Well, speaking of the X Men Fox universe, Deadpool two, we don't know what this is yet, but they're getting a Christmas release uh-huh. this year. This Fred this, Savage. This, wait, this year. Th- this year. December this year. Wait, say that again. This, okay. Uh, th- hold on. This is this is why I've read fifteen articles on this, and I I don't understand what's happening. And it's Deadpool so, two. No, we d- we don't know exactly. What? December twenty first, a Deadpool, yeah. an untitled Deadpool movie was dated. Then Ryan Reynolds tweets, "Deadpool two, the PG thirteen version." Yes. Okay. Then uh, Ryan Reynolds tweets out a picture of Deadpool reading Fred Savage of the story of Deadpool in bed, a la Princess Bride. Mm-hmm. And so what? And then uh, I think Snyder did some digging. Uh, PG-13 version of either Deadpool 1 or Deadpool 2. I don't yeah. I'm very confused on if it's it. I yeah, it's unclear whether the new Deadpool movie will simply recut footage from Deadpool 2 or whether it'll incorporate events of the first film as well. But anyways, he's telling the story and so a la the Princess Bride where he goes, "Oh, more kissing and I don't like this and you know and, and Peter Fox goes, "Ah, well, we'll, we'll skip forward." That's what it's going to be that kind of dynamic. But wh- is Why? there any new footage other than the Princess Bride they're make, no, part they're of it? They're making it a PG-13 version of it. Yeah. Why? I, I don't understand. I don't just, understand this just, at all. It's, you know, it's just Deadpool, it's tongue a in cheek. It's, it's a gimmick. They're, they probably want to get some uh, more money Extra money, money out for of it. part two. Yeah. Because part two didn't do as well as they hoped it would. Okay, it so that's well. where I'm confused. It did well, but it didn't do really as well as they it. wanted it. To. Sorry, I, I was confused. I already thought two came out. So what does this it say? Is two. This it, is it. it is two. So basically what they're going to do is they're doing a PG-13 version it of two. It came out R-rated. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. But, but with Fred Savage, you've seen Princess Bride, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. So yeah. it's like oh, him shit. reading. I mean, 734 million. Maybe it's just because they could. Are you kidding me? It crushed. Yeah. People are going to go see it. Yeah. You know what it is? I just remember it. Uh, I think I... I I thought just... Mm, 734 is pretty damn. I stand corrected. But I thought that... I don't that, want this to start being a thing. What's that? Like re-release. movies that re-release. want more money yeah, just start re releasing at a Look different. At I mean, 318 rating. million. It could domestic. be just a, a complete recutting of the whole movie. Maybe they just throw in jokes that they didn't use for the first time around. Possibly. Yeah. Right. Or do a G will you, will you version. That would be no? interesting. Uh, no, I'm not going to go see this in the theater. I mean, unless you know, it's like a screening of it or something, too. What? I mean, just because it, that'll be something that once it hits YouTube, I'll watch it with him and Fred Savage. And why do I want to see Deadpool 2 and PG 13? Mm. You know, it's, uh, no thanks. I'm seeing Venom tonight. Ooh, oh, so good for yeah, you. you I'm on the premiere. Look at you. Yeah. Right. Maybe if you invited me to your birthday party. You would have taken me yeah. with you? Yeah, I would have said, I would have said no. Um, you would have? No, you it's Monday. I would have said yes. Do you yeah, want to take me with you? Or? Yeah. I, I already have my plus one. Who? Her name's Janie. Oh. 
Shout out. Yeah, that's it. There's limbo. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, He's let... not in town. I would have taken him. All right, what's next? Uh, sticking with uh, the Fox uh, X Men universe, Gambit finally gets another release date. Oh come on with the Gambit. March thirteenth, two thousand and twenty. Give wow. it a rest with the Gambit. Is I it still do Channing not. Tatum? Yes, I do not buy this. Is it still going to be two hundred million dollars for the budget? Spinoff movie starring Channing Tatum. This movie. Keep in mind that the movie is cycled through this directors movie? Rupert Wyatt, Doug Liman, Gore Verbinski. No, no one wants this movie. Should Gore we put Verbinski out a poll? Is currently being directed by Check Notes. Oh, no sorry. one. Cops are going to Should we put out a poll of what we think will actually come out first, Gambit or Cyborg? Or what was the part? Cyborg. Oh, cyborg? You think Cyborg will I don't, actually happen? No, 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 no. Uh, not, not I right was now. repeating I was, what you said because he didn't hear. Yeah, I don't yeah. think Cyborg's ever coming out. No, but you know what? I put out a poll that says, do you want a Gambit movie? Okay. Put it, do you want a Gambit Dorian. movie? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm serious. Like, serious, I, yeah. I'm so curious. Can you, you can do it in a poll in the YouTube chat too, right now? I think, but just like, did, just guys, guys, if you're in the YouTube, YouTube chat, what was right? The other gambit light up is? the light up the chat room right yeah. now. Yes or no? Ask just simply, no. They can hear me. Yes or no? Um, yes or no? Do you want a Gambit movie? And I'm curious how many. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe it lights up. Yeah, I was wrong about how much oh, Deadpool two. There was that other Gambit news that came out this week about it being a rom com. Yes, I just pulled that up. It's uh, let me let me find it. Actually, it's like no. he says. It's going to have a romantic or sex comedy vibe. What are they saying? Mm -hmm. What's the chat room? Uh, let me go. Get, I see. Get, get, get. Hell nah. No. Yes. No, okay. I don't. Yes, under Feige. Yes, no, no. Jesus. No. Okay. Yes, no, no. Okay. Not really. No. Yet. Jesus. Right, I can't keep up. It's like, no, yes. it's like, no. No, 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 no. Yes. No, the, yeah. under, knows. under the Feige Jesus, thing, sorry. there was something I didn't think of, too. If it... If it it's maybe, under Feige. May, maybe maybe there's a new way to kind of combine it all with the MCU. Uh, I take I that into consideration. Don't but you like, have to reboot that to put it in the MCU? Yeah, if, yeah, general. I yeah, mean, that's because why, because I, I always look at it as like, hey, where were you in the Battle of New York? Yeah. You know, right. like where were you when uh, Thanos came to right. Wakanda? Right. That kind of stuff. Like, I can't put it in my head and like the time. I don't frame. know. I don't know how they're going to do it. But I trust. I trust in Power how nap. they're doing it. And I think that's one of the things that. Then we're actually going to talk about it in the eleven o'clock hour. I think that what Kevin Feige has done, and I'm forgive me because I'm going to, we're going to repeat this point. What Kevin Feige has done is that remember with Edgar Wright when that whole thing went down when, he, when because Edgar Wright, well because Edgar Wright was was set to be on Ant Man for a long time before the MCU was really the MCU. So once the MCU was locked in as it was. The vision of of just letting a director do what Edgar Wright does, it didn't work with their plan. So creative differences happen, and, and Edgar Wright had to, had to go. And and what we've seen in the long term is that they were both right. Edgar Wright was the guy who don't want to make that type of movie. I want to make my type of movie, and that's the stance he should have made, and he left. Kevin Feige and team held strong and said, well, we need to do our version of it to fit in so we can tell our overall story. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest problem, what's going on over on Star Wars. Yeah. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. We'll get there. Um, all right, what's, uh, what's, uh, well, let's do one more story, and then we'll move to... Um, one more story. Yeah. Let's. Uh, how about how about this is interesting. Let's go that over to the. Uh, let's go over to the DCEU and uh, Zack Snyder over the weekend, kind of revealed his plans for what he would have done in Justice League Two. He would have killed off Batman. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, what's next? I don't. You, you don't care, <laughs> do you? I, I, I'm not really. I, 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 mean, I, I care, care about this stuff. Hindsight is 2020. First of all, let's just put that yeah. out there. I just find it interesting that Zack Snyder is constantly now chi chiming in on this. What is that thing called? Vero. Vivo? Yeah, Vero. Vero. Yeah, v Vivo. Yo, Vero. It, Devo. Where like the first million users got it for free, and now people are paying for then it. Then it crashed. I don't know. What it, a fine, it's fine to say he's got his. He wants to talk about every single thing that's yeah. gone on in the DC, and he's welcome to because the, that's his prerogative. But like, yeah. what do you what do you mean? Do you mean now that Ben Affleck possibly isn't going to be Batman anymore? You you would have killed him off knowing that. What what do you mean, bro? Yeah, I I, I don't know. I mean, you know, that was, that was just a story. Again, it's, it's, just, it's the story he wanted to tell. It's just the problem is that I that. That narrative of where they were going inside of all this this whole thing, it just it, it, it was too sloppy. Like I don't I don't know if I would have cared because I don't know if it, because I still don't know really. I, I can't. I I like Justice League more than most people, but I can't tell you. A, <laughs> see, too. I can't tell you a damn thing that happened except yeah. that Superman fight. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Introduce Nightwing with when, when there's no Batman at all, and then have him take over yeah. the mantle? What's your plan? I want. Yeah. Them, What's your plan? I want them to take the dynamite, blow it up, right, and Brett? start all yeah. over again. I want them to start all over again. Look, Snyder, I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, let's do one more Who story, that? actually. That was Brett talking to Snyder. All right, well. Oh. 
<laughs> How about, uh, so Gal Gadot is going to uh, lead the um, Kenneth Branagh Death on the Nile sequel from the, uh, what's it? Oh, the Agatha Christie? Yeah, the Agatha yeah. Christie. Why is she leaving? She's not leaving. She's no, going to start. Oh, she just star signed on. Lead, lead, yeah, lead, lead, to be I the say. lead. Cool. Um, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, like a lot it. of people were, were very excited for this. Yeah. I'm going to clump in some smaller news pieces. First look at Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers yeah. in a biopic oh, about the man. I, 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 I yeah. saw that. So oh, I actually the, the the picture of Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers is yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah. Look it's at that. in there. Look at that. I am this is the this is perfect this, casting. Perfect. I, agree. I can't wait to watch it. Anybody who has a problem with Tom Hanks has a problem with me. Yeah. He, uh, like, oh, you hear it here yeah. first. Who, uh, Tiffany, is it Tiffany Smith? I think it's Tiffany Smith that doesn't like Tom. I don't Hanks. get that. I don't get, I don't get that yeah. take. That's a dong take. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. No, that is that's a, a dong, dong take. No, no, it's not. A dong <laughs> take is it is a reasoning why. If her, her, so the point is, if she says, she has an if she says, I don't like Tom. But whatever Hanks the reason because is, because I don't like the way he sips drinks. That's a dong take. Yeah, but even if it's I don't like Tom Hanks because I don't like blank. No, his that's performance not a dong, that's is what, not, that's that is opinion. a dong take. No, it's no. not. Yes, that's her it's opinion. a dong take. No, it's not. You guys that's, have my back on this one. I don't think so. That's that her opinion. Dong take. No, it's not. It's Sir, dong take. Uh, forget it. Um, dong take. Forget it. So brave. Anyway, the <laughs> other one. What was the last? Oh, the Gal Gadot. I want to see that. Here's the thing I'll say about Gal Gadot, and what I'm glad it happened because. I think there was a lot of criticism when she was cast as Wonder Woman, right? I think she proved everyone wrong. Yep. I think that people said that she wouldn't be able to she wouldn't be able to carry a movie. She's not an actress. She's just a, a model. She proved everyone wrong. She's become iconic in, inside of that. And now no one is saying that anymore. When she goes to star in these movies, people are excited about it. So yeah. good on her. I'm excited for it as well. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's go to break. When we go when we get back, Kathleen Kennedy, she has extended her contract with Lucasfilm. Three more years, and we're going to talk about it after the break. Collide a lot. Hello there. No, it's not late to the party. That's actually from Obi-Wan Kenobi. You didn't know that? Well, you should, and now you do. Jedi Council, what is it? It's about Star Wars, obviously. It's Jedi Council. Every week, the latest and greatest in Star Wars movie news, myself and Ken Knapsack, that's right, the pit boss himself, we have a guest on and we talk about everything happening in the world of Star Wars. If it's the movie news, the TV news, canon news, comic books, games, and then we take questions from you guys on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot of fun. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I'm still excited talking about it. The fan base is coming together again. I believe it is. I think it is. I hope it is. And we're talking Star Wars, so we like you. That's right. All of you, if you're not a fan of Star Wars, come on over and join us every Thursday for Collider Jedi Council here on Collider Video. And we have an Apple Podcast feed or Podcast One, wherever you want to go if you listen to podcasts. And not only do you get Collider Jedi Council every week on Thursday, The Rule of Two with Mark Fernandez and Mark Riley, that's on every week. I believe it drops on Wednesday. It's on one of these days. It's a good show. You should listen to it. I like it. I listen to it. I haven't listened to it once. Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still pretty good, above 50%. You can watch it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4 p.m. Los Angeles time is when we do it. It's live, so you can participate in the live chat room. Go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming, because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, they, it's a TV show, and we still might talk about it anyway, because we love movies around here. It's myself and an ex Expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show. And then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us. So subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. 
Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. Hi there. I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games, we talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hey everyone, John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new show there on the Collider Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day, and what is burning up social media, what topics are burning up social media. That's what we do on Collider Sports Time. I'm joined by my top 10 co-host, Matt Nost. Me and him, we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about NFL the Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL, and the NBA, which is starting up soon. We're going to talk about that. We also get into UFC stuff, college football, all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time, and we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports Podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. Hey, everyone. I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week, I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might have missed in theaters. It is fun. It is infectious. It is the Citizen Kane of movie review shows, and it's only right here on Collider with this guy, Scott Movie Mance, Mr. Movie Release Day himself check it out every friday at 10 a.m pacific only on collider video all right welcome back collider live um I, so much to happen and break mark ellis is with us too brett sheridan mark riley roxy strider i just so much i have to, I, it's like you can't take a five second fucking break without like the internet crashing down on itself so much i have to address here first uh-oh I have a good friend that I've been DMing back and forth with. Okay. So first thing, she had a concern. And the concern is that there's a part of the thing where uh, Brett said something along the lines of, oh, she wants you to toot their horn. Not understanding that, again, Roxy and Brett have a dynamic to where we break balls here on this show. Oh. <laughs> we break balls. Up. And it's like, is there a bro nature to this show? Yes. That's what this show is. This show can be that. I'm also very upset in the fact that there's been a thing out there in general where this happens, and, and it's fine. Now, we can have the conversation. I'm not asking everybody to agree with me here. Inside, there are, are there things that we can do on Collider to further on um, more diversity, more things of that nature? 100%. But when people say to me, there are not, a lot, not enough, there, there, aren't, there aren't any women on your shows. Well, I look across the, the, the front every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I see Roxy Stryer. Not invited to the birthday party, but on the show. Fine. Um, Collider Mailbag <laughs> is hosted by Perry Nemiroff. Okay, um, which also hosts a show with uh, with Haley Fouch, The Witching Hour, a great show. Again, we have more more work to do on the Schmodown. Um, our current champions are Clark Wolf and Rachel Cushing. Our our inner geekdom champion is Mara Kanopic. Um, I like uh, Mar- uh, Marquia McCarty. Uh, Amy Dowling, part of Heroes, are also going to be doing more inside of the Schmodown. Jay Washington, there's five. We are, we, are, we are growing and we are growing and we are growing. But to say it drives me nuts when you know, like I understand. Look, sometimes on a show you might see three white dudes on top of a show sometime, and they might be discussing a topic that you might not be happy with. It's going to happen sometimes. If we had more budget, if we had more, there are always ways to bring more people in, and is what we are trying to do. That is what Mark Fernandez is trying to do. John Roca hosts all of our, 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 our sports stuff. We are doing more and more and more every day, but there's a stuff out there, too. If, if Mark Ellis and Jeff Snyder and Mark Riley are on a topic and, they're ta- and, and something happens in type of the current movie news, it's going to happen sometimes. So there is stuff that always can be improved 
everywhere across the board. Wait, this um, all happened because because Brett said that I was like no, 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 made a sexual no, 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 innuendo. No, no. What, what did I? No, this, <laughs> this, no, no, can no, I just defend myself but that, real quick that, 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 well, Hold on, but that that part of the thing. No, this, yeah. the, the okay. first the first part of it is my friend who was asking who had never seen the show before. Toots into that and is like worried about the broy nature, but that's what this show is. This show is the broy nature with someone who can hang. That's what this show is. Now it's I not like the to overall think of myself network. as a bro. Yeah. I think and I'm a no, bro. I was commenting on the fact Nobody that I have seen rude comments there. about you. Yeah. I'm making like like I'm making a joke about the fact that there are shitty dudes on there that totally. say some pretty disgusting sexual was, things I about you. Funny. So I, I, I'm not saying. But that's but that's my that point. Think, that's my point. Yeah, Someone yeah. logs in for the first time and they hear something out of context. Yeah. And Brett right away won't it's even like, hug me. He's too afraid. <laughs> right. Like, I know. But that's, but that's my point. Though. That's uh, that's where we live in there too. It's like you tune something in. That's what you hear the first thing, and that's that's your perception of it, and that's 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 a problem, and it happens all. The time. Uh, I don't. I don't know what uh, what you guys did on the first. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, just to, like as far to be honest with you, as far as my my little corner collider goes, is, is that uh, like My Little Pony, but it's it's not style? even. I think it's a pony. Mm -hmm. I, I think Collider Movie Talks. Uh, a well-oiled machine, yeah. but having said that, I do get disappointed when it's three white dudes on the show. I get it. I don't think it ever needs to happen. I don't see one reason why you can't have at least one female presence, yeah. one person of color presence, at least every day. And it bugs me, and it's something that I've said in every meeting that I've ever been in yep. with Mark Fernandez, with you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we can't do it. I know that there's also, a budgetary let me yeah, there you go. concerns, but it, I also know things. that it's not that hard to reach out and it doesn't cost that much, and it's something that has always upset me. I don't know what's happening on Twitter right, right. now. I just came from the gym, but it is something that's always on my and mind. And I, I agree Wait, with you. Is that I, not the case currently, Mark? Because I don't watch the well, show. Well, he's saying that sometimes. So it, the last... it, it, what, what we have on Movie Talk, to just full transparency, is that it's, it's basically I host the show, I don't run the show, and I don't cast the show. I have input. And my input is usually that in meetings where I'm like, look, I want to get more voices on the show. And who yeah. else what is on the we, show? What we get hamstrung with is that we have a no very limited budget. amount of full-time employees. And so more often than not, because we have so many different shows that are coming out, you have, oh, this person's free and this person's free. And so if that ends up being Riley and Snyder, then that's right. what you end up with. That ends up being... Perry and Roca, that's what you end up with. And I think all the panelists are fine on the show, but I have never, uh, it, it, it's always bothered me that we can't, because we're such a name brand and people recognize us, right. that we can't be more of a beacon for being progressive. Uh, that and especially when you do have the diversity yeah. topics we're talking about, where if you're talking about, um, you know, the Birds of Prey movie, or you're talking about Black Panther, right. Black Klansman, like it really bugs the shit out of me. So uh, well, whoever's saying that on yeah. Twitter, I likely agree with you. No, you don't agree you know? with the whole take of it. I'm telling you because you see, there's some of it. It's also because there's a thing that too. Because what you just said, I agree with 99.9% .9 of all of it. Okay, it's aggressive destruction on Twitter that happens all the time of threats and people coming after you like and, and it's a way yeah. it is because there's one particular person just screams into the fucking void and just yells and yells and fucking yells and it's like you're never going to get anything done that way Christian what's what the point one because, that you don't agree with no no because, <laughs> what I, because I think that because there are conversations because the problem is the conversation like I don't have anything really to do much with movie talk these days I agree with him in the fact that there should not be a case this you, because Jedi Council. I make sure every single I want the female point of view on Jedi Council every single episode that we do. I we, it's it's necessary. We need it there, especially like and I I always try to have that representation there. Um, and if and I I also like to have on um, representation for people of color coming in all the time on Jedi Council for that for that third for that third spot. So I get where Mark's coming from because I make sure that that's what I have on Jedi Council. Um, I do think, though, that's because of this, the same thing. With Jedi Council, there's a difference. Jedi Council, the, my guest spot, it's not paid. It is not paid spot. Um, and that is what people have to, if people are cool with that, and people are, because we don't have, the, we, it's, we simply, YouTube is not the same thing it was two, three years ago. It has a, di like, this is a full-fledged company. Now, remember, Mark Fernandez bought this company. Okay, so this is not a corporate thing anymore. This is a rogue thing. So he's got, there's, there's a particular budget, okay? And so I think that what people need to do is they have to be conversations. People don't realize it. They just, they just see like, they just think that it's this big corporate thing, and it's not. I think Mark's right. I think Mark's right that every single episode should have, of movie talk, should have a female point of view, a person of color's point of view. I agree with you. I do think, you get pushback on that? Not for me. 
I think that I don't I I don't get pushback. I I get um I get it, it it's not the runaround, but it's it it feels like it's um, not other people's passion as much. It fe- it feels yeah. like it's not as much of a priority as right. I think it it should be. I but see, well, part of that is that my job here by design, by my own design, is cause I've been offered full time here in the past, and I've always said thanks, but no thanks. I don't want to be a full time employee in office anywhere. Yeah. So. My job by design here is to come in, just basically to be here as little as possible. So you guys might have might have surmised, right. is that I like coming in, I like getting the show notes, I like hosting the show, and then I leave. If I hang out, I'm you know I'm friendly with everybody in the office, but I don't. It's not a goal of mine to be in an office more than I have right. to be. Mm-hmm. So if I was a full time employee here and it was my only job in life to run movie talk, then it, I think it'd be a different show. But that's not my current circumstance so when i'm in meetings or when people ask me for input on things i can do what i can in those situations but but you're still kind of a backseat driver a little bit because yeah i mean i i have a a stand-up career that i Mm -hmm. that i'm pursue full-time i have other opportunities in this space in the world entertainment that i'm pursuing full-time so i can't um uh look after this one thing but you even follow people on twitter and have conversations but do you think the majority if we get guests do you think that we can get people to do every day if you want wanted to for essentially free because that's what that's what, because a lot of times people don't want to do the for free if they want to do it for because that's where we're at right now and if we can do more of that if there's more ways to beef up the budget then i agree even more so, so that's I, my oh, biggest problem real quick though i think a lot of people are treating this like i you know like it's a fucking lehman brothers you know a company photo it's a bunch of old white dudes you know no i, I mean there are people what is the percentage that's going to make people happy though that's the thing Ooh. i hear and you know like oh boy no. coming from the guy who we can't talk about well you know but that's what i'm saying like I, am i supposed to feel guilty i mean i, don't I know think it's Christian, a percentage, I'm his friend man. who put me on the show I, like am i supposed to be feel guilty that in conversation black panther came up just out of the blue these you're talking about planned shows where you're you know your topics right. this is a broy show yeah. and this I, yeah. is bro he's not, no, he, his, i don't his, think we're his, all his, talking his, about his, he's primarily talking about movie talk, oh, okay. which, yeah. which I, which you know, not no, I mean, the, you look at Shmoda, and I'm really proud of what. Yeah, we've that, done. that's the oh, difference. Shmoda, See, but, that, but that's the, that's the thing I got to address though, because that's the difference. So when it comes to movie talk, I'm not really going to disagree with Mark. I think there could be a, a ton of, of improvements that's made with that show. I, I'm, I'm on your page. Uh, well, I mean, not I, with I, the host, right? What's that? <laughs> not no, not with the host. <laughs> no, I agree. But but that that's where the perception starts to deal with, with mm-hmm. the overall network. Again, like I said, sports. Video games, our social media manager. Uh, I mean, the the, the 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 again with with sh- this show, with um, heroes. We are constantly trying throughout the whole entire to make sure that, that different voices are heard. So I think that the perception that when you t- because movie talk is the flagship show. So I think that you're right when you tune in and you see Jeff Snyder and and you know and and again Snyder's Twitter tirade last week didn't help anybody. Um, and and that was and they and generally that, don't. But that was con- and again the thing is too. I had the convers I had a conversation with him. I had a conversation with and I told and I'll and I don't care about. I'll say it. On, I'll say it on the air and I'll say the same thing too. I called um, my friend Geek Girl Diva and I told him the same thing that I told uh, her and the same thing I told Snyder. I told Snyder and I said to her, uh, like, because the thing Snyder's initial tweet Snyder's initial tweet of the of people next call, to your mother and your but calling kid. him back is it was a cocky arrogant stupid take right. But Don, it was a, but, it was, but it was a cocky, arrogant take that if that's the perception you want to have of yourself, dude, can go ahead and do that. Do I think that was a fireball offense? No. But then he then it went then he went after Geek Girl Diva and he had a conversation about her on the air, on on Twitter. And I told him, I said, I want to let you know because we we walked in and got coffee, and I told him, I'm telling you right now that that take offended me. That take that I can tell you that she is a fantastic writer. I can tell you that she has amazing knowledge i can tell you she is a friend and she is someone who's been on this show and to where he looked at me and he said I, I, it was wrong and i shouldn't have done it now whether or not he had that conversation with her i believe he has not it's something that should that's something that should be done that's on that's and i, I called her myself I'm glad, I spoke, he, glad he realized that i called after her, the fact i listen i called her and i talked to her <laughs> whatever it was i talked to her for 20 minutes on the phone because I did not want her to be left out in the cold, and no one was supporting her. And and, and the two, like, oh, she's I want, great, yeah. And I wanted to let her know. And we had a very good conversation. And she was the one. And, and she is. And I want to be very clear. She is not the one. She's not anyone that I am talking about. Because she's. She has always been someone who has had her concerns, has made them very clear, has said them inte- intelligently. And the fact that listen, this is the thing that I see. But she said to me, she she was the one who said, I turn on your shows and I don't see any women. And I said, Well, you're not watching all the shows uh-huh. because every show that we have has 
women representation. Can I, can I say a couple of yeah. things for a second? Just no. Uh, <laughs> You're a woman. <laughs> Silence. That is true. That is nothing I have to say has any value. So it's like just why go do you? your makeup. Here are the I did. I spent extra time on it today. And yeah. I noticed. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, okay, so a, a couple of different things. Um, Number one, all I can talk to speak to is my personal experience here, just so everybody knows a little insider baseball about how I got on this show. Uh, Christian like had to legitimately, and nothing, it wasn't like Mark didn't, not this Mark, um, Fernandez didn't want me yeah, on the we show. we need to distinguish um, how yeah. we refer. Just, just call him Fernandez, call him Ellis. Okay, so too many Marks. It's right, not let, that let Fernandez Riley. didn't right. want me on okay, the show. Finish your point. It's not that Fernandez didn't want me on the show, but Fernandez didn't know me from a hole in the wall. Fernandez and I haven't known each other. Christian and I have known each other for years. Um, and Christian had to like legitimately fight tooth and nail for me to be in the seat. Um, like really, really fight for me to be here. And there was a time where I wasn't going to be able to be here so i can speak to that and say that i know that how important it is to christian that there was a woman in the room and not just a woman to have a woman in the room but me specifically because he thought i was the right fit for this show so that was that's something that i think a lot of people don't do uh, in the digital space and at the companies that i work for some of them do some of them don't but i think that that's awesome that you did that christian so that's my experience here now to answer your question like when is enough enough um which is not how you phrased it but what percentage will people be happy with i think it's a it's a slippery slope to ask that because it's not like okay once we reach 30 percent right. we'll be happy as women well, it's more we'll let her finish. Let it, her finish. It, the the bigger thing is the fact that it, it's so underrepresented right now Maybe when we get there, I'll tell you when enough's enough. But right now, it it's not even close. And I'm talking as a white woman, I, and so that's I, I'm even better off than so many people. I out agree there. with you a hundred percent. And again, oh, can I real yeah, quick? Yeah. yeah. But um, I I just want to say that like uh, it, it there is something as me as the white devil, you know, forty year old man. Uh, it's not been easy for me, guys. I'm fucking here working. You know, it costs me money to come here. I know. You know, I'm trying my best. I don't want to get attacked. I don't, you know, I'm just. I don't, I'm, I'm not attacking I'm you. I'm a good no, guy. No, she's not I, saying I support are. everybody, but yeah. I just think there's sometimes people are getting screamed at about shit when it's like they're, they're trying. You I know mean, what it like, is? I think, but Brad, I think everybody, the thing is, too, if you hear Mark's initial point, too, everybody wants to fight the right fight. Every, I mean, if you're a good person, you want to person, be on the right side. Of if it. you're a good person, you really believe in the cause. You want to fight the right fight. And again, Mark and, and Ellis, Ellis and I, Ellis is uh, my my best friend in the world, and he and I have had many conversations about this from our days. He is he is a, he has always been an advocate for for change inside, uh, making sure more people of color are on shows and more women on shows. He's always always been, always he's always been that way too, and he's always makes his points to where. Now, my my particular thing too, what I think is that the other thing we need to do, and this is not to say I know there are tons of people because one of the things that I did. So Daryl from um, from Black Hollywood Live, yeah, Daryl Kristen, I reached out to him um, about two two three years ago, or two years ago, to when we were doing schmoes, and I wanted to find more people because I don't know everyone too. That's the other thing to realize. Like, people get suggested all the time, right? You'll get new suggestions, but you also got to realize, guys, we're in a place where entertainment, not everybody fits in to what we do. There are some people that, that fit in in one network, but they don't they, they don't pop on these type of shows. We've tried people. They're fine, but they don't work. And whether you're white, green, black, doesn't matter what, you have to fit the sh You have to be good for the show. So I've sat in front of and, and, and talked to white men or white women who've been terrible f for our shows. Same thing has happened all around the board. You have to find the right fits, and I think that there everybody is out there. Everybody is out there. We have to find more, but there's also the problem, too, is that you can find someone great and be like, well, will you do it for free? And they're going to go, no. So we need to find more advertisements. We need to find more. The money should be, when we find more money inside of this company in general, like that's, again, if you look at Schmodown, right? Mark and I are paying for that. You look at the different, you look at what we're trying to do in regards to how many people we have on. Last I, and it was two seasons ago that I had a conversation with Clark Wolf and Rachel. We need to up our female presence in Schmodown. We have done that. We need to this season. We need to represent um, more people of color. We have done that, and I have the means to do that. We don't have all the means yet, and we're working on it. That's all I'm saying. And yeah, my I mean, comment was that that people are still screaming at you. That's what I'm not saying. When is the? But it's just like. The, when are you gonna like? I think you're getting too in your head, man. Scream, defensive scream. about yeah. it. Well, well, I am a well, little defensive I because you. I'm I'm the fucking white devil over here. Yeah, but you I, nobody said that, that but you. You said that all the time. Yeah, you know? people, I have people have to realize you. is that uh, the internet, everyone, yeah, they, they including myself, is gonna have a. You're gonna have somewhat of a myopic view of the rest of the world. 
because you're not in all these rooms like the same way that I've never been a politician. I don't know what happens right. behind closed doors in the White House yet. It's totally within my right to go on Twitter and lob insults at the president because I don't like what I see. So if people don't like what they see, that's the only the, viewpoint they have. That's a difference. And I think I, it's I, don't I, 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 I think it's uh, I, I think it's fair to do that simply because if you don't have all the facts, you're right. But I take those point of views less. Because they don't have there's all the a facts. difference though with the huh. white there's a difference with politics too because that's the only way you can get in the room because you don't know people on that side we have had people that we've been on these shows that we have talked to that we have relationships with that have not made phone calls that have not emailed and just shoot and scream at at Twitter and don't say hey you know what I have a relationship with that like again Shane and I have oh a well th that's that's th what I'm saying Shane and I I'm, have I'm talking about people that that I've never met like I'm always of the mind yeah. that if you have someone's phone number. That's how that, you right. You okay, we're on, then we're on the same page. Okay, we're on the same page. But a lot of people don't have my phone number by design. That, that's a different. That's then yes, you're you're right. Like so, if someone inside of the tw in, in Twitter or or comments or that's the way that they express it and they're tweeting at you, then yes. Sure. But I'm talking about people that we've worked with, that we have had relationships with, that instead of saying, hey, you know what, let me call because this I cannot say enough kind words about Shane. For Geek Girl Diva. We had such a great conversation for 20 minutes to where she laid things out, I laid things out, and that was it. She never publicly attacked me on, on Twitter. She never publicly attacked me. She asked questions. We talked about it. That was it. Um, there are other people that we have worked with in the past that have not, I have not once ever gotten a DM, never got an email, never got a phone call, just screaming and yelling. I'm like, why do I want to work with you to where I, I believe in what you're fighting with, but why, why do I want to work with you? It's like, that, that makes no sense. It's like, it's bad, it's bad business. It's bad for in, in general because it's like you don't know the whole situation. We've talked we've talked more here and gotten more outside there of how all this because we're, you're handcuffed, I'm handcuffed, Mark Fernandez is handcuffed with what we can do. Are there ways to improve? There are always ways to improve. That's why we're human beings. Also, you got to find ways to, to improve. There's other ways that where you say, no, I don't want to do that. No, that's not what we're doing. No, this is the way it's always going to be. And that's never been a conversation here ever. Yeah, so, I agree. Yeah. I, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry. It's just I just I just can't. There's only so much because a lot is of there times. There's a little bit of it where people are just like 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 I think everybody takes takes Twitter a little too seriously. Yes, like and that's why I jumped tagged, off. Because and you, are if, you off? You don't sound like you're no, off. No, I was off because the problem was that when I got I'm getting I'm get, I got <laughs> three a, days. Look, I got a DM from a, a, again when D, when Shana DMs me, I listen because Shana is my friend. Shana is someone, and she so her concern was when she tuned in and she heard that thing that Brett said. I was like. Again, misrepresentation of what the show is all about. Like, this is what the show is. Is this show a little, do a little bro, a little dude? Yeah, but guess what? Some shows are like that, and that's what this show is. Sure. Now, if the sh I don't every even think I know what that means, really. But to her, she didn't. She doesn't. Know, she doesn't really collide her all the way through. So when her first impression, when she turns on, I'm sure she would tell me this. When her first impression after we had our conversation is that when she tunes into the show and she sees because there's other things that if she goes to past episodes with, she's definitely not going to like if that was the most you know. But like, but that's what this show is. Jedi Council she's been on she knows that's not the case that's what i have a problem with yeah. when, when people so many people look at movie talk as it, it may not be the show that you watch every day on collider but that is usually more often than not the gateway into all the other shows we yeah. have here so if the gateway do does mean, not like... look well it's the first show that you that, that people that that's how people I agree with know what collider is got it so if they are just surfing the internet and they say what's this new collider thing the first thing that they watch more often than not is movie talk mm. so if that is your your gateway if that's our welcome here, it doesn't look like a Statue of Liberty. Right. It's three white dudes, and that pisses me off constantly. I, I like white people. I'm one of them. But I think on a show like that where you're not just yeah. representing that show, you're representing the entirety of the movie spectrum, and you're also representing the entirety of Collider, I think it should be better. I think it's a valid point because I think that one of the things to where I got a lot of tweets over like the weekend was, too, when, when, when these clips are going on and, you know, again, the Snyder thing happened and people are – first things that they search is movie talk. And when you see that that's the case, and especially, A, the climate there, and B, the amount of great talent that is out there – it is not. It's like, well, how, how? Because they're not going through the library. I can tell you right now. Because even talking to Shane, they're not going through the library and watching the rest. Because if they were, they would see. Because you're, sure, you're right. A lot of, yeah. Because yeah. you're right. It is the first thing that they see, and they think that that's the overall representation of the brand, and that's not it. Like I said, Mark Fernandez hosts Rule of Two. You know, it's mm -hmm. like Perry Nemer. I can go through it over and over. You put on any one of our shows, you see representation from all over the board. Schmodown, especially like Schmodown. Like you said, I'm super proud of what we do, did this year, and we've got way more to do. But um, I mean, I was like, look at our, our live event. You know, where we, where we had. 
John Roca, uh, Winston Marshall, Stacy Howard. I mean, you know, Mara Kanopic. It's like there's more and more and more we're trying to do and can do better. So anyway, I just wanted. To, I just I, I got out. I was I was walking out and it just I I, I had enough is enough because I'm not I'm not responding to people on Twitter. It's one person keeps tweeting me like. What's the I'm current status of your of your it. of your Twitter app on your phone? Is oh, it still no, no, on I still, the phone? No, I, I talked about it last week. I still I I need to put like I wanted to get our match out there. I wanted to get I need to tweet links. So and it stuff has too. to be on your it, phone. Yes, I it's back it. on his yeah, phone. Yeah, I need to. Okay. And I and I there's things and I, and for gifts, but I'm just not getting into it. Why are you I so much, embarrassed about that? You can't just say it. Yes, no, it's, it's, it's back, back on to my phone. phone. But I would just <laughs> much rather. That's a tough thing. If you make a blanket statement like I'm deleting Twitter from my phone. No, I talked about. it. I said that it was back on yeah. last, last last Wednesday. But like the thing is that I'm not doing anymore is I'm not going on Twitter wars anymore with people. I'm not gonna like you know someone who just thinks that they can just tweet at people and get things done. It doesn't get done anymore. It just causes arguments. I'd rather do this. Yeah. To where we're having an open conversation. I'd rather get on the phone with Shana for for. 20 minutes and talk about stuff. I accomplished more with Chaina in 20 minutes than I have in Twitter in three years of conversation. No one gets anything done on Twitter. Yeah. Unless yeah. It'll lead to a conversation, maybe, which is essentially what that did. But I'm done with doing that because, again, I see people like this one person is like screaming out, trying to like goad me into it. I'm not doing it. Maybe it's, you got me to address it here. Yeah, no, but, but it's, that's it. it. That, that's the point, though, is that it's nice that you that you have other outlets and that I have other outlets to get this our person point across. does too. Some. Okay, well, yeah. I, I don't know. You're probably talking about Ken Napslock. So, yeah. uh, but I like other people don't necessarily have that. So that's why people lean so heavily on Twitter, which is why I'm pretty forgiving on there. But I also am like you in the sense that I'm not getting into Twitter more just because like I have I have other shit to it's do. It's too much. I, I will take your point, yeah. and and you know how uh, well I take yeah. criticism. Where I want to be made better right. by anybody who's watching my content or my stand up, but I just yeah, I don't just... have time to. To spend on the app all day. Well, I just got offended by it because it's like again, even when because Shana had tweeted out that um you know we her and I had spoke and then there's as one guy was like, well he's promised uh, more diversity before and it's never happened. I was like, you're not watching the shows because so much has changed because Jedi Council would, would be three dudes at one point that changed, Smowdown changed, this show changed so much that you're not watching. You're like, maybe maybe it is the, the, the movie talk problem, but like the person said, like, well, you've talked about change before; it's never happened. It's happened tremendously, and it is and it's happening more and more and more. Is it over? To answer your question, no, no, not that's by, a, and again, no, I, I know. know. I know. Roxy pissed at me. I can tell because no, 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 she was asking questions. No, she's not, not at all. But Brett, it's I, not my job to make you feel better now. And you're sitting over there pouting, no, I'm and not it's pouting. not my I'm job. I'm just like everybody's talking. I don't get a go word ahead, in edgewise. Go ahead. But it's just like I listen. I. My wife and I talk about female, you know, feminine. I mean, like, I'm, I have these conversations. I'm a good fucking guy. I didn't say okay? you No, but I'm I get attacked, too. And I know we all get attacked. But I don't want to feel guilty for being a white dude. Oh, great, another white guy talking about this. I don't want to feel bad for that. I'm, I'm supportive of everyone. So you're, you know, it's, it's, and I want, yes, the, the, the representation, that's great. But I don't, when they're attacking my friends, for not doing these things, I get defensive. It's not me. You can say yeah. whatever the fuck you want about me, but they're, I see people attacking Christian and Mark about I didn't. Like, diversity. Why are you, saying you. Why, so not why saying is you. he looking at because me when he's saying it, Christian? Because no, he you told me like you that I said something that was not like, when is enough enough? And I'm like, oh, great, I said a horrible man I thing. didn't, it, it, dude. I, t I took your words and I said what you said. and I tried to explain it. Yeah. Uh, you, but you're sitting over here and like I said, I'm not pissed at you. Yeah. In any way. I feel the same about you that I think these two guys feel. These three guys that are also in the room. So uh, whatever insecurities you're feeling about it oh, right no, now, it's just the whole thing I am not doing. I, so. I think the temperature's a little hot. That's what it this is. is why it's yeah, fun but having not, a podcast studio I really like so Brett. I've said it a thousand times. I, I know you guys do. I, I think that as soon as everybody <laughs> takes a breath and maybe gets a glass of water, we're well, all going to be fine here. All yeah. I'm saying is I don't think sometimes that you get to defend yourself unless you are a person of color and a, person, and a, and a female. Well, we were, look, I think there's sometimes where anytime you start to go like, God, people, we're trying, damn it. You know, well, we're but, all that, on the but that, same. But here's the problem. You know, here's the thing, though, because, yes, we are. Because there's a lot of people out there. And this is why I, this is why I say in the beginning that the fight is being, the right fight is being fought. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people out there that are not fighting that fight, Brett. There are a lot of people out there that 
are incredibly racist oh, and yeah. incredibly horrible people. Um, so the thing is that that's, that's the fight. The fight of wanting more people on, uh, of color, more women, is the right fight to fight. It is, but I think that is the thing is that everybody is in a war. It's just nobody knows what side people are on. That's the biggest problem, and I think people are figuring it out. That's the thing, that everyone needs to figure it out together. We're working on it. And look, the thing is, too, again, like I said, that to me, I would much rather, this is one of the things with Collider Live, is that this is a point when I, I, I'm going to use this outlet to talk about things like this. I am. It's not just, a, like I said, hashtag that's the show, that anything at one point can happen that should happen. This is a conversation that needed to happen. I am not doing it on Twitter. So if you want to, and you know who you are, if you want to yell at me on Twitter and, and be accusatory and that kind of thing, that is your prerogative, and that's what you use Twitter for. I see you use Twitter for that every day. That's what you do. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to talk to people here that I believe can make a difference. I'm going to talk to people that I think that I want to hear voices. I'm going to listen to people. Um, I'm just pout. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to listen to people in the I'm comments. Pouting. I just don't know what to say. It's all right. Don't, you said you said enough. It's okay. You said enough. Don't worry. It's all right. Not everybody has to say. I just it's, like yeah. it, it's it, it's frustrating. Anytime anybody gets attacked for anything, it's very frustrating. I, I try to uh, remind myself that. Uh, if somebody is going after me, or they call me a name or something like that. That person has probably been through more. You know, I, I am a very lucky. I'm a very fortunate person. I have not been through what a lot of people have been through since the day they were born right. for reasons that they cannot control. So, it, it, you want to, you know, lob a grenade at me occasionally? That's fine. Maybe right. I probably deserve. It. I, it just, like just I want to give you guys my login info for 24 hours. Like seriously, we're gonna give out Christian's phone number on the show yeah. now. so that you it guys is. can like. See, like it's not uh, thick in the skin, man. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, y'all get it. All right, listen. Well, I've so dealt, we're, with, we're I've dealt with some real fucking life shit too. That before the internet. So I mean, I've had a hard, yeah. hard life. Yeah. I yeah. never. And, and and I. But sometimes there's this. I, all I was saying was that sometimes there's an automatic. Well, he's white. He's uh, privileged, and I'm not a fucking privileged guy. All right. And well, I don't like being I lumped think, into that. I, so and that's, that's fair. Just my Look, everybody had, and this is good. This is good. This is a therapeutic thing for everybody to get out there. I'm sure that the audience had a lot to say about it. Um, and you guys I'm should. And there's a lot, there's a lot that we had to say. And like, I could not agree with Mark more, more needs to be done. Which, wait, wait, wait. Which Again, Mark? Yeah. I, I like being Mark. You're just Mark, Ellis, I guess. Ellis. I like being... No, this. it's fine. If we make it the rule from here yeah, on out, you're the Mark. Mark. Mark is Mark. Yeah. And I'm not saying... Because Riley's so Riley. Riley. Yeah. Riley feels you call more me like Riley. Riley. Riley, Riley, Fernandez. Riley Fernandez. Fernandez. But Riley I'm not Fernandez. close enough with Fernandez to call him Fernandez. It Everybody feels calls disres- him that. Yeah, but it feels... What do you call him? Mr. Fernandez? No, I, I call him Mark. Because, like, for, like, I would feel more comfortable calling you Ellis because you and I have known each other forever. Yeah. Like, you can't nickname somebody you don't... Call him MF. one day... What up, MF? I don't know if you like that. <laughs> you can call um, me me. All right, listen. Here's me. the thing. The, the boys are going to be upset about this because I think we got to cut the game um, today because we. Why? We, what happened? We took time. No, we're not, we're, no we're, that's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll do it. Cut, we'll okay. do it tomorrow. Uh, no, no, yeah. All right, let's. No, we got to talk. Now, so. now, now, look. That was that was a very polarizing subject. Let's get to something more a little a little lighter. Uh oh. So Kathleen Kennedy uh, extended <laughs> oh, for uh, for three years. Um, yeah. So this is something we're gonna we'll switch right into because this is gonna be a, a big topic of conversation. That, I need you guys to break this down sure. for me. So here's what happened. So there was a lot of rumors and, and speculation that Kathleen Kennedy would not. Some said Feige was gonna come on. Some people said that uh, there were gonna be new people that coming in to get the Lucasfilm job. She's were, been a great producer forever. Ever. She's produced a shit ton of ever. the most the most profitable movies of all Jurassic time, Park, including and, yeah. uh, the Force Awakens and the Last Jedi. Yeah. And when George Lucas uh, sold the company, I think it, either it was mandated or something like that that he wanted installed as the head of Lucasfilm. He wanted Kathleen Kennedy because he trusts her with uh, with the vision of Star Wars. So then, since then, obviously it's been polarizing, particularly with the Last Jedi, the green light of Solo, the delays on various movies. That Kathleen Kennedy, uh, maybe some of that magic's gone. I'm so not necessarily that opinion, be... but that's how uh, it, it's very polarizing as to whether she should still be the head of Lucasfilm or not. Her contract was ending after what film, and now has been signed on. I think it was after nine. After episode nine okay. was when it was it was ending. So the thing was, and this is what I said. I said this about a year ago, and I stick I stick to this, and I still stick to this today. I, I don't know when, whenever I said it, but I think that Kathleen Kennedy, like Mark said, a tremendous producer, one of the best producers of all time. Um, I don't believe she should be the creative head of 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 Lucasfilm. I think that there's a different like, in, because very similar. Before you walked in, 
So Kevin Feige and the Edgar Wright situation, right? So yeah. Edgar Wright was signed on to do Ant Man, and um, before the MCU was the thing. So then, after the MCU kind of took off, Edgar Wright was still attached, and they clashed because Edgar Wright wanted to do an Edgar Wright movie, and they wanted him to do an MCU movie. It wasn't jiving, and it wasn't jiving. So, and as Edgar Wright should have done, he left because he wanted to make his movie and didn't want to make an MCU movie, and, and they got uh, Peyton Reed to go ahead and make it to continue on this mm -hmm. television show. This is ultimately what they wanted to do, and ultimately why they've been so successful. I believe Star Wars should have had that narrative. And instead, I think Kathleen Kennedy treating it like an uber producer to where she's just saying, I'm going to get the right filmmaker to get this and do this and say, all right, JJ, make your vision. Do what you're going to do. Okay, that's not, you don't have to follow that, Ryan. Ryan, you, what do you want to do? Okay, I like the way you're talking. You're a great filmmaker. Do this. The fundamental filmmaking aspect, done. You're telling your story. Go. Okay, Colin Trevorrow, you're going to do yours. You're going to do yours. You're going to do, and, and there's no... There was no through line like what we wanted to do with the MCU, like to where you can, especially with the trilogy, you have to at least connect the trilogy, and that wasn't done. So creatively, I think they need a creative head. I think the three-year contract doesn't necessarily mean that they can't do both. I think what this means is one of two things. It's that they, they trust Kathleen Kennedy with the future of Star Wars, which is fine, or it means that sometimes when you sign somebody to a contract it means that you have a handshake agreement that after this contract you walk away or you even announce your retirement during the contract so it never comes off like hey. anybody at Disney is upset with Kathleen Kennedy that it can be like oh she she made the decision to step down as opposed to well we didn't want to renew her contract so it could be one of it, it could be both of those things but I don't think it's that big of an issue particularly even if you don't like Kathleen Kennedy right. because episode 9 is already happening the way it's happening it's shooting right now mm -hmm. Um, and then afterwards, you have this new trilogy with Benioff and Weiss that everybody at Disney and Lucasfilm still seems pretty high it's on. what they're talking about the most. I yeah. have no idea. It's not a trilogy, it's a series of films. Yeah, right. right. I have no idea what's going on with, with Ryan Johnson's movie. I know that they're very excited about the John Favreau TV show. So those are two things that are going to careen for a while. And by the time all these things actually see the light of day, that three years will either be up or will be close to being up. So we'll see what happens then. Yeah. But I think that good for her. I think she's earned it. Riley, what do you think? Uh, I am very happy that she's back. I, I am. I think that she is a fantastic producer. Now, do I agree with you on the fact that I do see a little bit of a just to kind of just throw everything against the wall and go and not a lot of plan. And that's what, what I'm confused about because I don't understand how – you can have Ryan Johnson do his movie off of J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams was the man, along with Lawrence Kasdan, that said, by the way, Luke vanished. And then Ryan Johnson had to pick up that thread, and he did what he did. Now, you don't like it, you don't like it. I can't tell you. But he did what he needed to do. You can't just look at Luke and go, Luke Skywalker vanished and went over here and did not want to be in the fight. So Ryan Johnson did what he needed to do in order to get that character back in. And I personally like it. So it's all going towards this. It's I think it's unfounded to yell at Kathleen Kennedy over this. Well, I mean, she I, let the filmmakers do their thing, which yeah. is what every filmmaker dreams. Well, well see, yeah, I, but, but, that's, I, but, that's, I can, but that's a problem. I can also say I, I feel like Kathleen Kennedy uh, has has made missteps in this mm -hmm. tenure. I of think course. I think a great Absolutely. producer does nothing better than learning from their mistakes. So I think that she probably realizes now. I hope she does that you and needed to JJ get JJ and Ryan Johnson into a room more often than not and have them hash out exactly where this is going. And if they creatively disagree, then you step in and say yeah. we need to see this Force Awakens through line. Yeah, my, to the my, end. my problem. Going. My problem with what I think is, um, from what I what I hear, I think that Kathleen Kennedy really knows how to make movies. I don't really think she knows how to make Star Wars. You know people. Like I know I just you know people. I just don't know that has nothing to do with. It. I just don't think. I just think that she, when it comes to, and let me let me let me reiterate. I mean, clarify. That particular statement. As far as making Star Wars movies, of course she knows how to make them. She she produced Force Awakens and, and Last Jedi and, and Rogue One, and, and those are movies that she oversaw. I think in regards to how to tell the overall story, how to arc it all together, of what the heart. I don't think she's a hardcore Star Wars fan. She doesn't have to be. She doesn't. She right. doesn't have to be. I can see that. But I just think you know. And it do is, you think that because she said that, or do you think that because that's the sense you get? I think a little of both. 
I think a little of both. She doesn't. She she when she comes out to celebration, she she just reminds me of a lot of executives I worked with. And it's like when you hear her talk about Star Wars, like Kevin Feige again. And this is the thing when you compare, you have to compare everybody to Kevin Feige because he's just he's this gold standard of what he's. He's a fan overall. He's a Marvel fan. He's done he's done these things. He's 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 worked in the movies for a long time, and he shows up to all these different events. She shows up sometimes and to certain things. I, I, I was surprised that she didn't show up to the, the – Rebels was one of the best storytelling elements to Star Wars in a long time, right? She wasn't at the series finale uh, that they did this big premiere thing. I th- and, and it's it, – it, 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 that rubbed me the wrong way. And does she have to be there? No. She oversees the films. But I just thought as the head of Lucasfilm that she might want to be to talk more about that narrative of overall – of, of she, the Star Wars head and not just the films, Right. But that's that's a, that's a smaller point. I think that with with her is what I'd like to see. I think I'm okay, with, and I agree with Mark. I think you're right. I think that the fact that you get that, that will she oversee those three years? Who knows? You know, but maybe that it is a good way for them to say, listen, we have respect for you. Everything to ride out for the next year and a half, and then if you want to take off and do something else, great. And that's possible. But I also think it's possible, and something that I have championed, and I'll still champion for. Bring in someone, it doesn't have to be Filoni, but it can be someone else. Bring in someone to take that weight off of her to connect all of it. She can make the movies and let them do the this, the storytelling of, of overall. Yeah. Here, here, this is where I think they, that she started to write the ship. I'm listening. I have to type an email. I apologize. It's going to take two seconds. Wait, while, you, while, you, 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 while you're doing that, can you I'm just like, quickly answer? I got to cancel a haircut. Because I want to talk about this with you guys but instead really, of leaving the show. Really right? quickly, can you answer for me? Is that gum in your drink? Yeah, I put gum in my drink for two reasons. One is that now nobody else is going to steal it. And two, it gives it a little bit of a peppermint kick, which I really appreciate. Peppermint oh, water wild. will change your life. Wild. Better than Sorry, Riley, go ahead. Oh, yeah? How many did you have yesterday? That's neither here nor <laughs> there. Okay. Sunday. I have pictures. I'm not into uh, it. Here's yeah. what I think is that I think that there is a big <laughs> upheaval with around Trevorrow getting canned off the, off the project. And I think that's why J.J. Abrams came back in. I think she talked to them and said, look... Force Awakens did what it did. I think J.J. knows his Star Wars, loves his Star Wars, is a fan of Star Wars, and that we're going to see maybe that writing of it with Episode Nine because I think Episode Nine, if it's done right and he sticks the landing, people can look at Episode Eight and go, ah, okay, and now we have a trilogy. Right. And now it all comes together. Could not. This is just my opinion, speculation. Maybe he ropes it in and gets a little feedback from Ryan Johnson. This is what I've been doing. It's so hard for me to believe that a billion dollar franchise, they don't have meetings together. And that the narrative right now is that, oh, they're all doing is just whatever they want and Kathleen Kennedy doesn't care. I call bullshit. I don't I see don't. that. I cannot see a <laughs> I po- how. How can a billion dollar franchise yeah. just go, no, we, we don't care. Ryan it's, Johnson did whatever he wants. It's, JJ, come I can on tell, in. I can Red tell you, Kong, I can tell you about Ren 90% and, and, certainty that that is exactly what's happening. It's just, it did, but all right. Yeah. That's fine. We can tell you that's definitely what's happening. That's a, and I think that's the reason why there's been so much disconnect. I think so, there's been so much disconnect. I think that's why Solo. I think that's why Solo. Because it's Star Wars, man. Of course they're going to come Sorry. back. That's why Solo fell apart. Thank that you. is why the first Force Awakens almost fell apart. Uh, Rogue One had a lot of issues. Force Awakens almost fell apart. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff that happened. In there's a lot of stuff that happened all over these movies that because they're not, it's not, it's not cohesive right now. It's not, and, and I, I'm not saying it can't. It can't be. It can. And hopefully that they're just – there's always okay with bringing in new members of teams to help out. I think I, – I, look, I, I think honestly they just did too much too fast too soon what, what Iger said. And I'm a Star Wars fan, so I'm as uh, hypocritical as they come because I will line up yeah. to see every Star Wars movie that comes out. But – you know, once a year, I think it was a little more ambitious than they thought it. It, it still was. Do once a year. It's. I think it's too. I think it's too much if you want to have the same impact with every movie. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. I with want you. I'm episodic not with you movies that. two times a year, and then occasionally you have another movie. Yeah, I think, I think Marvel. I think Marvel's proven that you can do one. But Marvel, one or two a year. they're all they're all building off each other. That's my, yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. Is but that when, I don't want that with Star Wars. I, I don't. I do. I don't I, just want like Benny and, and Weiss and, and, and then this happened. Benny and Weiss has a series of movies. You will want that. But you don't want any other. You don't want uh any other standalones during that time. I don't necessarily. The only standalone I really wanted that I thought was would have been great was Obi Wan. I don't need a Boba Fett movie. I don't need a Lando movie. I don't need a Chewbacca movie. I don't need a I don't need a Jabba the Hutt movie. I don't need a Yoda movie. I don't need that shit. I need you to like build like that. I don't care about any of those standalones. If they did, if you built a new universe, Old Republic. If you did any of this stuff, and you start building up once a year, I think what Iger's comments have been. 
taken out of context with what he said. I think he more or less meant May and then uh, December and then May. Certainly. That fast. Like once a I year. Think that, I, yeah, I, I think in I think that that's that's ludicrous unless yeah. you're doing what Marvel does, where I think they would have had a better chance if they make a movie in December and then the continuation of that story comes out in May. Yeah. I just as a Star Wars fan, I I like seeing it and then I like watching it over and over again and then I like the quiet and I like the build up again yeah. because Marvel I, I I can't fully explain why they've been so successful with movie after movie after movie every quarter but I just don't think it works as well with Star Wars I, I just because you haven't had right now you're right I think it hasn't been I, it, you haven't had a narrative that you get you would get excited every year I think that if you got if you had a narrative that you would get excited every year you you'd be okay with it I, I'm t- you just have to be attached to it. You're not attached to anything right now, so that's why you're that's why you're you're saying that. Like you're, you're excited about when Star Wars comes out because of course it's Star Wars. I, I mean, I was attached right. to Force Awakens, but, but I was also happy that I got to wait two years. Yeah, but if Episode you know? Nine came out in in May instead of Solo, right? It, a would have done a lot better. B the excitement would have been. Uh, it, I'm not saying they should have done that. I'm not saying they should have done that. <laughs> I, I, wait, I'm just telling you that it would anything would have done better. I gotten hot. And, an over public <laughs> movie would have done better. In in May, Obi Wan would have been better in May. Yeah. So we just saw Han Solo die in Force Awakens. The Han Solo that we had, it, regardless, the movie was fine. But it's not the movie. You got If you're gonna come out six months later, you gotta come out with something that's fire and hot and was a great Star Wars movie. You can't come out with just an okay or even a good Star Wars movie. You gotta kick someone's face in a, in a May release. Agreed. Roxy? I like when my face is kicked. That's it? That's all you got? <laughs> Honestly, I love Star Wars. You yeah. guys know. I love Star Wars. I don't. There hasn't been something I've seen yet where I've been like, I thought that was trash. I like the prequels. I'm a massive Last Jedi fan. I, I, yeah, there's, I lo- really like Star Wars. Uh, it's not. I don't feel like it's mine the way that you guys feel like it's yours. So I don't get as um, like fired up. Uh, well, I just don't feel like I know where it should be going. I don't know shit. So like, I just go and I watch and I enjoy. So this news to me is kind of like uh, almost irrelevant. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. You're in a very healthy headspace. Thank you. So much. Like, 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 say, can I get yeah. their rankings? I want to get the Brett and the Roxy rankings of the new movies oh, that have right. come out. So yeah. the four movies that have come out, you got Force Awakens, mm-hmm. Rogue One, Last Jedi, and Solo. Did you see Solo yet? Where do you rank them no, all? I didn't see Solo Did you see any of those? I did not see Solo. Uh, you you saw the other three? Yeah. Uh, sorry, that whole the conversation was like the Peanuts parents talking to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but, can I tell, but can I tell you something? What? Um, just at, like from one host to another. When we have nothing to say, we ask questions. I had no questions to answer. You know, like you know, like you're still, your, you are you still fired out. I'm still, still pouting. You keep your headset um, on yeah. so that the fans don't think you're bored yeah. and checked but out. Why do you I just wanted questions. to walk out of the room. I was why like, though? But I mean, that's I the couldn't thing. even like it was just yeah, like but, draining. Oh, but dude, but, I mean, but now we all know it was it was not it, it was very I'm obvious. still a little fired. It was up. not subtle. Uh, yeah, but look, this is the but again. But then it was like. What yeah. are we talking? I don't know anything about this. I don't know how to add to it. Yeah, you but, want to go interview uh, people in the hallway? <laughs> yeah, I was going to go interview Cobster for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I had no. I wanted to escape because I really was like, shit. This is going to be one of those things where people are like, why is Brett there? Because he doesn't know anything about this shit. Uh-oh. So I don't think uh, anybody would say. I mean, I sp- I could have spoken no words. I, my ears I wasn't were sweating too. Yeah, and it. But was, the majority uh, of people uh, out there, even though Christian and I like to think we're in the majority, as far as how obsessive Star Wars fans we are. We're not the majority of people, so it yeah. is interesting. Right. Yeah, to hear I just somebody really like Star Wars. Have a really take like on it. Star, which is why I want to know y'all's ranking of yeah. the new movies. Like, like which ones do you think pot were your favorite to least favorite? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What What do you got, Brett? Other than Solo, uh, or you can rank it if you what, want. Have you seen yeah. them all? Last Jedi you saw. No, I saw Last Force Jedi, Awakens, Force Awakens, and Rogue One. And Rogue, I really liked Rogue One because okay. it was different, and it was it was, uh, yeah, that was not something that I was. Ex- yeah, it wasn't yeah. and it tied back it, into and it tied back into yeah, the original. Yeah, tied back in, and yeah. it, it was really. I was like, wow, that yeah. was uh, one way to do it. Okay, mine yeah. goes: Last Jedi, Rogue One, Force Awakens, uh, Solo. Solo. All right, okay. I, I could do I one think. a year. Yeah, <laughs> I could do one a year. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Something but, about what I just said made yeah. you say that. No, I mean, I'm just thinking about like Christmas, and I, yeah. I, I still think that it, it does. There's a little bit of brand diminishment if it comes out every year at Christmas just for the sake of having a Star Wars movie. But I get so excited to go see Star Wars movies with my family yeah. during Christmas. It's like, oh, the the family's getting back together, and we're all such big Star Wars fans that it's like an event in the Ellis household to go see 
the new Star Wars all, movie. All so. of the Ellis's are as Star Warsy as you are. Monster fans. Yeah. Really? yeah. See, well, that's cool. raised on it for my mom and dad. That's kind yeah, of, that we was, were raised on it too, actually. Yeah. Well, that was my earlier point. Is that is to think that because, like you said. Every two years right now, you're very excited about the, the trilogy that's out. You want right. to see how it's going to wrap up. So you're invested in it, right? Like the thing is to the other ones that have been in between, these, they, there hasn't been anything yet to get you invested in because – Seven, eight, nine have through lines. It's got a, it's got a full through line of what, what's going to happen. Allegedly, <laughs> but but I mean, but it's got. But I mean, at least at least it was set up through characters, yes, right? Like yeah. so, you know who you know who Ray is. You know who Kylo Ren, and so right. now you want to see where that story is going to take Broom place, so, right? So all but all that stuff. So you, you're you're invested in these characters. The standalones are now just like. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, it's Star Wars, so I'm excited. Well, what is it? Now, if there was in between in those two, every two years, there was something else that you were invested in, right, then right. you're going to be pretty set up with one a year if you're invested. The, the goal, though, is to get that casual fan who likes Star Wars. How do you get them to love it? How do you get them to be as invested in it? And it's coming well, up I do feel characters. like I love Star okay. Wars. I, I just, I don't think it's fair to say I don't love Star Wars because I'm not pissed about things as no, often. You know what I mean? Like, like, I've probably seen. I've probably seen four, five, and six each, I don't know, 20 times. I've probably seen the prequels maybe f five times each. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I am more than a casual fan. Yeah, you're a fan. Uh, but I, I just don't, like, a, I don't know. There's something about it. Like, DC, I obsess about. I'm like, right. that's wrong. That's not my Flash. That doesn't look like that. That shouldn't you be like that. You analyze DC, you watch Star Wars. Yeah, I just yeah, watch Star fair. Wars, and I like it. And I'm, I'm Which is why I think I like The Last Jedi. Right. To which I'm, I'm the opposite. You know, as far yeah. as, like, watch. I, I, yeah, yeah. I'm so invested in Star Wars, obviously. What's your ranking? Out of the new stuff or in general? Yeah, yeah, the, out of the, the new, new stuff, I would go, I mean, I, it changes all the time. Um, but right now, I would go Force Awakens, uh, Rogue One, Last Jedi Solo. All right, I Is go that you? Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rogue One, Solo. Mm, yeah, right. But, yeah, Force Awakens is definitely number one. The like Rogue One and Last Jedi. They go back and forth. Yeah, I, I no, I, I think Last Jedi is probably the solid number two. I would Safe. say Last Jedi, Force Awakens, Rogue One, Solo. Okay. What's your, what's the let's let's put the ranking out there to the uh, to the fans. Uh, and they have been doing that. Yes. A lot of Rogue One in the number you one spot. One? I yes. would say that is that is the one that I saw. I get it's it. It's different. It's yeah. dark. It, it feels like an independent movie. It's got a kick ass ending. Yeah. Yep. And talk about somebody who is. I'm not saying all those people are casual fans because of course not. But somebody who is a casual fan, it's a great casual fan movie to go see because. <laughs> it, it, I, I agree with everything you're saying. But I'm gonna get taken to the wrong. No, way. unless in, unless you have kids and you're not prepared for it because oh. there's such a thing as being a casual fan where you just think you're going to see a Star yeah. Wars movie. My, my new buddy Bill Crawford who I was overseas with from yeah. Pittsburgh yeah. he was telling us he took his kids and they're like 9 and 10 or something to go see it and they all left including Bill they all left like crying they're like nobody survived. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty yeah. funny. No I took my kid to it that was the whole thing. But did they break their heart or did they kind of prepare he's, for it? He's gotten to the point where it's like he, he gets that everything's you know it's he knows it's a movie, so he's not. Oh, how I is thought he, you were going to say he knows like, everyone dies. He's actually to the point. He's actually to the point where he just doesn't even like. It's almost like I'm like, well, you can get somewhat yeah. emotional. Did he see Avengers Infinity War? No, no. Oh, okay. Brett, have you had the death conversation with him? Uh, oh yeah, uh, we had to. I had books I had to we had to read in preschool, really? and yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you what, man, I was interacting with Brett's child uh, yesterday. Um, both At of the his birthday kid, party that yeah, I was invited to? Both his kids. <laughs> <Just> checking. <laughs> no, no, I just picked him up and took him to Jim yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, let's hang out. Cool. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, I'm impressed with, with, with Brett um, and his wife, that what they've been able to do with, with uh, raising children. The uh, Your son, whose name escapes me, um, he's going to be 12 in January. I'm telling you, this kid, he's got quarterback moxie because he's got a calm about him. Yeah. He's got a presence. I think he's going to be able to scramble out of the pocket okay. He's, and he's great with, he's, he's great I with little kids. I think he could be a leader. He is. He's great with little yeah. kids because he, the, the three maniacs that were running around, you know, younger than him, but he was very cool with them. It, it was it – was, Good kid, man. Good but kid. He's very. He's very. What I'm saying. He's not. He's very logical about things. I don't see him getting. I'm a little worried about his emotional. Like, he, like you said, was he distraught by these people? No, he's like, oh, it's a movie. Well, it's not like Dexter. Do yeah. you show? I mean, I know things are movie, and I cry <laughs> during movies. You know? Yeah, everybody see where, where he auditioned that kid was to be Dexter's son. Yesterday? Did he really? Yeah, didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. I'm like, come on, motherfucker. Right. Wait, what? he auditioned in, and he was offered the part? No, no, he just auditioned he for just it. Auditioned. And then he didn't want to do it? He didn't want to go to the audition. Oh. oh. He's and fielding like, offers. Yeah. yeah. How was he in the audition? He, had, he got better auditions for me, and he had no interest in doing it. 
Like, yeah. and I'm, but then I go, okay, so you don't want to do this? No, I want to try. I'm like, are you sure? Like, I wasn't pushing. I'm like, right. dude, I, I you're on like honey boo boo. Yeah, I'm like, if you want to do this, it could be cool, and you know, you could you could have fun or whatever. But I don't. At any time you don't want to do this, you tell me. And he's like, no, it's all right. And then you go, yeah, I don't really like that. Well, let's not do it. And then I get another one. And I'm like, this is to be on a. You know, uh, he the lead in that heaven is for real or something like mm. he got it not. And he was getting great auditions, auditions I've never seen. Let's say your kid books a commercial, right? Yeah. And let's say you get a nice run, you get some syndicate or uh, some some residual checks. Let's say let's say you make ten grand. Let's say yeah. the kid makes ten grand on the commercial. And let's say that Taking I'm the ten year old kid. How much of that cheddar do I, as the child? Who booked the role actually get to see? Well, I've spent legally they get twenty five percent. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. There's it's a the lot. Coogan. So you have a Coogan account. Yeah. When they're 18. They get twenty five. Fine, twenty five. Then twenty five. Like 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 to yeah. spend I, right now. No, no. Money, when they're eighteen. You know, much money oh, to yeah. spend. You can't kids. touch it. It's a Coogan yeah. account. It's Jackie Coogan yeah. who was uh, uh, Fe- Uncle Fester. Yeah. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of investment. Really? There's a lot of investment made in those kids, so they're gonna pay it back. All right, listen. This is yeah. This is Collider Live. Heated show today. Oh God damn! It. Yeah. it was good. I liked it. I, I like that. I didn't think the, it was that heated. I, I just like, I like that you guys a lot. I think what it was not heated with us. I think the, I think they were able. I this is again when the reason why when we the initial conversations to start this show, I said that I will do this show if we're able to talk about whatever is on our minds. If we're able to that nothing is off limits. And I just and like I said, I told you guys two weeks ago about how I was getting tired of social media and one of the main reasons is like I said, I might still do it, but I'm just telling you, <laughs> but the social I'm I'm tired of the way that people communicate on it because I think it is it is it, 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 there's it's just devastating. People aren't able to actually be who they really are on Twitter. They become these these things that they think they're supposed to be. And I think that more is done with conversation. More is done with the spoken word, um, and I'm glad that we did that today. Yeah. And I'm glad, and I and we'll have more conversations too about other things that we can do. Um, and the same thing for you guys. I wanted to thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching it, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, go check out all these clips and all these other things that we have on the Collider Podcast channel. Go subscribe over there if you haven't. You can also. Download and make sure you get this, the audio version for the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday show, Collider Live on the feed on Apple Podcasts. Do all of that. And check out the Mark Ellis Christian Harloff match on Patreon. If you go now, get you can go there. check that out. The get costumes there. alone are worth it. And do it for Roxy Stryer, Brett Sheridan, Mark Riley, Mark Ellis, the whole damn Wanger crew. Can I come back tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Why not? No. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>